Oh, I, I disabled this. So. Oh, you just turned them off. You're like, I don't want to deal with laggy ass dice. Exactly. All God right. Goddamn God funny junk at this fucking ads. <laughs> so we good? Mm hmm. Bored and Rudier, all right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's why we ask. Uh, you can go in the settings and change your display name. Mm -hmm. you oh, yeah, you could name. do. Yeah. Yes. They will know your real name. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. When you're on the internet long enough, someone will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so um, it's just you know, for for the sake of anybody that ever decides to watch this in the future, because then you know, who the fuck is Kendra? No, it's borrowed. Why the fuck doesn't it just say borrowed? Then I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, this is just going to be sort of like a a quick sort of like tutorially thing. We're just going to go through. We're going to try a bunch of stuff. Hopefully, uh, have a cool um, time. So the. Oh, uh, hmm? question. Yes. What uh, what armor do I have? Because he says I started with armor. Yeah, like so armor. Um, you're going to start with a light armor. Nobody else is going to start with any armor. And that just means you take um, like sort of one reduced point of damage anytime you're hit. Eek. Yeah. Um, but in this setting, we're basically in the Bronze Age, I think is a good way of putting it. Um, now, there's two major factions at play at the moment. Um, we have the the humans, uh, which are known, you know, you could do the tribes of man, you could say it that way. You could say, you know, the tribes of Vesta. Um, Vesta is like our, our god, if you will. She's a giant spider. Um, and we're we're in the Bronze Age. We're, we're behind the eight ball because for... Presumably generations, there were there was only darkness in this land. Um, and during that time, the Beastmen, which are the tribes of Gorok, because um, that's their major god, um, they sort of ruled everything. Uh, they kicked our ass <laughs> and, and ate us, and it was bad times. Uh, and we basically only survived by um, caravans. Uh, like, we never made settlements. It was just constantly on the move, trying to get by, trying to, um, uh, until we found, like, uh, glowing algae. And more importantly, there was these spiders whose um, silk created light. And that's sort of why we worship Vesta. Um, she's sort of like the mother of spiders, if you will. Uh, it's, maybe she's not necessarily a great god. Maybe she's not even necessarily a caring <laughs> or compassionate, um, but because we required her light to get through um, what's known as, you know, the dark the dark ages. I haven't really decided on a, a, a name for that, but to get through that period, yeah, so that's, that's who we worship. So the thing is, we're behind the eight ball. Um, the, the Beastmen live in a sort of Iron Age time. They have rudimentary settlements set up um, very much like um, sort of a medieval uh, type setting for them um, sort of around the 800s uh, maybe even 1100s like we're not talking like the high middle ages if you will they're sort of low middle ages um, and right now they're very much not unified um, they technically all worship the same god but for whatever reason, they, they fight amongst each other um, still. And now that's, that's going to be changing eventually. Um, but we're sort of on the, the beginning of that. We're, we're about to, to witness the birth of the Beastmen all coming together. Um, and to that end, the humans are hopefully, you know, by watching this, going to start uniting. Now, we already feel a lot stronger camaraderie with each other, because again, we were on the losing end, and we persisted. So we, we have that sort of survival, you know, sort of thing going on. But um, 
Yeah, so on this map here, the X boxes, uh, those are all beastmen cities, um, like towns, if you will. A few hundred people each, depending. Um, the just boxes with no X's, those are all human settlements, which is why they have a lot simpler names. Um, traders Crossing, um, both beastmen and humans go to. It's a trading place. Currently, we have a truce between um, our you know, two civilizations. So um, that's sometimes we meet there. and they're, they're the most progressive, basically, if you go the Traders Crossing. And even then, there's a lot of animosity, if you will. Pardon the pun. Uh, <laughs> Beastman, animosity. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> so the one with the little triangle, that is Briar Glen. That is the closest thing that, again, so we, we are a nomadic race up to this point. That's the closest thing we have to a capital. Um, it's basically a series of wagons that were at some point just decommissioned and turned into houses. Not They're really what... Wagons. Yeah. Well, yeah, they were built up. We actually have these big-ass oxen that we use as mounts. Um... Obviously, they're not good for combat, but, again, we primarily are on the move carrying huge wagons, so we have huge oxen that haul everything around. Uh, the beastmen, on the other hand, don't really worry so much about large caravans as they do, again, about combat. That's been something. They've been fighting wars for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, so they have, um, what's a good way, more horse-like mounts. Um, anyway... Mm -hmm. So the thing is, we've had a truce now for probably about 30 years. Not long enough to make everyone forget the past. Um, so it's still, it's a very troubling time. And the only reason the truce happened is at some point the humans started to do well. And it wasn't the case that we thought we could win overnight, but it was the case where we thought we had a chance of winning. And I think the Beastmen realize that. And at the same time, these uh, lizard men, not affiliated with the beastmen, not affiliated with us, nobody knows who they were or where they came from. Um, the beastmen have more idea than we do because they're much more, you know, learned, if you will, uh, because they've been able to read and write. Um, so these lizard men come in and they start attacking and that's when everyone was like, hang on put a truce on between our two races and we're going to fucking sort of shit out. And we are no longer at a time of darkness and that's when we were starting to be able to fight back because there's now a giant uh, beacon, a giant lighthouse, if you will, in the middle of our land that's spinning around and giving us light. So we, we currently do have a day-night system and it's very good for us, obviously. Um... Any other questions about the sort of setting? Uh, so, so just keep in mind, you're more like tribal-esque in outfit. Uh, currently borrowed, um, Ecto, I believe. Ecto's the <laughs> only one wearing any armor. Um, he's sort of wearing like a thick bark plate type suit. It's considered a light armor. Everyone else is mostly just sort of like hides or rags or, you know, leaves, stuff like that. Making up your attire. Yeah, some uh, some personal covering, but not so much personal protection. Right. Now, as we progress, we're going to be... So humans in this game, uh, the tribes of Vesta, they live to about 200 years. So they're more like the elf type race in that regard. They do live longer. Um... So the nice thing about that is we're going to be able to take your characters and we're going to be doing a little bit of jumping if this campaign continues. Uh, we're going to start right now and we're probably going to make the next session after this one three to five years. And that's not going to be a major loss to your character in time, but it's just so that we can progress the setting a lot more. And as time goes on, armor and more advanced weapons are going to become... A little more um, commonplace amongst humans because we are uh, dealing more with these beast men and looking at what they've advanced and achieved and stuff like that. 
imitation rather than adaptation. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to six. I'm trying to like sniffle off off mic. Um hmm. Yeah, so currently we have three young hopefuls. Young in the terms of I'm gonna say you're about say twenty three years old. And when your race lives to about two hundred, that's a bit younger um than it is, but you're still sort of physically mature. So we're going to say you probably look like you're about 17 to 19 across the board. Younger, but not like, you know, babies by any means. Um, sorry, I can have my sniffles. So we have, we have Ecto, uh, Arndran, and Leafburner. They're all um, chilling together outside of Spikeberry Fields. Um, which is right here. Spikeberry Fields forever. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's where that came from. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spikeberries are are these annoying little things I made up because I like call drops in games, although they tend to be useless. So I um, I was like, oh, spikeberries. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're basically like you know you know like a walnut, like a spikier hmm. walnut. But once you get the fruit out, they still have a bit of a hinge, so you can take out the, the inside part of it, and you can leave them almost closed, and basically you scatter them. And when enemies step on them, not only is it painful and annoying for them, but they emit like a loud, snappy, poppy noise. So they're, they're used sort of like an early warning system, if you will. Um, and it's sort of a bit of like a punishment. It's like, oh, you fucked up? Well, you can go ahead and peel the spike berries and get that out. All right, good job, dickhead. Um, so, all six of these characters, um, the other three aren't going to be joining us, but all six of them are essentially, um, there's like a, um, a wandering, I want to say like a, like a peace force, if you will. Not like a police so much as like a, you know, you sort of go around, you make sure everything's going well. Some of them are mediators, some of them are, you know, deal with the actual, yeah, like crime and stuff like that. But yeah, so I guess kind of like, we'll just say like a police force, if you will. Um, this is sort of a system that's been set up now for a generation, and you guys are sort of young hopefuls trying to get into it, and you're being trained by um, a fairly stern warrior known as Malda, and she has gone off for the day, and a situation is going to arise, and you all take it upon yourselves to sort of prove your worth and deal with it. So what happens is you are out um, in the farms of Spikeberry Fields, and this is the only farming community as of now for the humans. Um, so, you're, you know, you're plowing the fields and stuff like that when you hear a large amount of commotion, you rush back to the actual, um, you know, caravans, the spikeberry fields, and um, the beast men showed up. Tribes of Gorak came. And they kidnapped a young girl by the name of Deldria. And they have murdered one of the humans there. So obviously this is sort of a big deal. <laughs> first off, bit. it could be seen as a you know the first breach of the truth, um, but also maybe, maybe just maybe, misunderstanding. <laughs> but of course, nobody in the village wants to believe that. They're all yelling <laughs> for blood, um, and they are confused and scared. And most importantly, they want Deldria back, the young girl. Um, they're afraid she's going to be using some sort of sick ritual sacrifice or something. So to that end, and, and why they sort of think of that, is some of the survivors left. Um, again, only one person was killed, nobody else was injured. Maybe a few people like pushed away. But some of the people that were there and that overheard, heard the Beastmen mention that they were heading to Brill. Now the Beastmen travel by horse. So it is a fair bit faster than we can run or walk. Um, now, the thing is... If you're traveling by horse and you're and you're walking throughout a period of a day, 
ultimately you're going to cover a very similar amount of ground. The horse and you are going to get tired at about the same part. It, it's not like the horse is so much faster. It's just you, the rider, don't get tired. Um, the difference, however, is a horse has a lot more trouble going over rough terrain. So, I don't know. You can all decide which of you thinks it's a good idea but to cut straight through the forest to Brill instead of taking the road, which presumably the beastmen are using. To try and, like, catch them off. Uh, well, whoever gets the most endurance, I would think. Well, I have a better idea. We just, we do one of those. Just cut straight down and then run along the uh, the caravan path? Yeah, because, I mean, that, that road will take us, you know, down to Brill this way. True. Yeah, but the shortest distance is a straight line, so... Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. So a straight line, call that whatever, you know, like 30 kilometers or something. Mm -hmm. 15, and then 45. 30, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Because then we're along a road, we're only in the forest. That's for true, yeah, then, then you hour. can just follow the road, yeah. Because, I mean, this way we're going to have to go cross country to get to this road anyways. And then you got be careful yep. uh, highwaymen and bandits. Well, that's interesting. Um, we don't normally encounter those right yet. Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. the humans are still struggling. So, I mean, highwaymen, it's like, whatever. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? There's not much to yeah, steal. Like, Give me all your money, dude. I have, like, one gold coin. You can fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like, at, at this point, we don't even use a currency. Have a monetary system? Yeah, it's the only, beastmen do. So. It's only trading, right? Exactly. So it's it's more bartering, then. Yes. I don't know. That's fine. If you want to cut straight down through the forest, I'm all right with it. I agree. It's borrowed. Cut mm, down. Okay. Now, I don't have a map drawn up for that, and I hope that's okay with you guys. Do you but... have a map drawn up for the forest? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so so that wasn't so much a, a who wants to as so much as, you know, who's going to suggest it so I can get on with it then, eh? No, but that's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm just saying I didn't draw that part. Um, but we can just as easily... So, you guys are heading south through the forest. Is there anything we want to talk to the people at town? There's a bit of commotion, as it were. Any questions we want to ask? Uh... uh hmm. Any local news? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, young girl kidnapped. <laughs> Man <laughs> murdered. Tonight on MSNBC. <laughs> local girl <Yeah. laughs> Oh, besides the obvious. <laughs> Leaf burner, please. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf burner, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. No, aside aside from that, <laughs> it's not too much. Um. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll I'll give you something. Um, there's been a few sightings of lizard men in the area. Now, it, it's just one of those things, people see them at night a little bit, they think they're seeing them. It's sort of like, you know, it's been almost like a, a boogeyman type thing over the last week. So rumors. Mm-hmm. There's actually, I have a role for that, which is... <sighs> Let's see, we could do knowledge... Hmm. Well, that, that stuff doesn't really matter. I guess if you guys just want to give me like a persuasion or something, we can see if we can figure anything else out. Um, I'd also take consoling to try and calm some of the villagers, get some more important news. Um, all that is garbage for me. Can I try <laughs> a listen check instead, see if like I can overhear people? <laughs> Okay, because yes, yeah, there go for no it. There's no way in hell I'm going to talk to somebody. They're going to be like, you're a fucking leper, go away. Yes, yeah, essentially. Sure, go ahead and give me a listen check then. Hundo. Hundo. Hundo Holy, Holy fuck. shit! <laughs> you might have been able to get a persuade off after all. <laughs> I, I might have heard every conversation between here and fucking Brill. <laughs> nice. So as you're walking by some people... um. You, you notice some sort of glance in your direction and, and just the murmuring of so speaking of um, it's not the only death we've had recently there's been 
quite I'm freaky. not dead, I'm <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this, is how, this is how I look. <laughs> um, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm feeling better. <laughs> no, you're not. No, no. This is it. There's, there's been over the last year a lot of people disappearing in the forest. That's, uh, that's all you sort of overheard as you walked by. Continue walking? Continue walking, yep. Since I have ears of steel. <laughs> you do, yes. <laughs> I'll hear you later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can hear you talking shit. Dude, you're like 500 yards away. I can still hear you talking <laughs> shit. Alright. So are we heading south now through the forest then? I'm good with that. Anybody else? I'm good. All right. I'm good at that. So, it's going to take us, I, I'm going to be generous here and say two days uh, to get there. Um, to get to Brill or to get through the forest? To get to, to Brill. Because initially okay. I, I planned about, so like if you drag on this map, roughly what it says for 20 feet, which is about four, five squares. Uh, it's about five squares, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that's sort of what I figure about a day's travel is. So, um, I figure if we cut, you know, we can probably squeeze to Brill in about two days. Where is... Yeah. Does that, that seem cool for you guys? Yeah. So, yeah. we're going to be um, taking a camp whereabouts. What time of day is it now? Well, let's be generous and say it's about 9 o'clock. In the AM? Yes. Okay. Um, well, since it's going to take us, what? Well, I mean, that's a half day's travel right there. Yeah. So I'd say we set up camp. What? Uh, where's, the, where's the pingy thing? Uh, you just it. hold with your click, yeah. So just like... Okay. On the well, outskirts. I'd, I'd say we, we set up camp like right here. See a little glen? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I say right there because then we're not directly on the road. Like so there's a like little bit of an alcove there in the trees. I mean, that's and a not, terrible not color. Quite, like, not quite there. Let me let me zoom in a whole bunch. Near the forest? Uh, where's my paintbrush, freehand, purple, sure, fucking whatever. No, yeah, uh, yeah, as long as it's like seeable. Oops. But okay. That like this little yep little bit in the forest right there. That sounds good for me. Oh damn it! Not that. Delete. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. as you guys are making your way through the forest, um, the brush is getting thicker and thicker, but not enough to slow you down, uh, which is bonus. Um, however, what, what what type of trees are these? What type of trees? Um. Like big trees, little trees, fat the, trees. There's like a mix, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, mm. uh, okay. Question, have any of them been injured recently? Like, are they leaking uh, resin? Ah, that, that is interesting, yes. There are large scratch marks. Um, not claw claws, like, you know, like, oh, a werewolf in the forest. But like scratch marks, like something heavy and strong brushed by it. Um, hmm. What would be a good way to describe that? Like if you were driving a truck through the forest and you were scratching along the trees. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, well, and on that note, since these trees are pissing out resin, I want to collect up resin. Oh yeah, go for it. Because you have like... herbalism, right? Uh... You have a couple points in it, I think. Oh, you're like I the only know. person that doesn't. That's fine. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you can get resin anyway. It's yeah, just... And that's what I mean. Like, I don't need to stab the tree myself. These trees are already pissing out resin. I just yep. want to, like, yep, you that's know, fine. get a, a satchel full of it. Just scrape it off. Okay, cool. So you've collected some spare resin. Okay. Um, so as you're Anybody going through... Are on the forest? Okay, take those and no. Keep right. going. Let's go ahead and get some listen checks. Do I have to roll again? <laughs> Unfortunately. I know that was very good. <laughs> yeah. But it was a critical though, damn it. I have a 20 base? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. 
You, you guys aren't the most perceptive. Yeah, no, see? <laughs> okay. I guess some of the fucking resin got my ears. Yeah, so you don't hear anything, but uh, you do find yourself, as you progress further and further through the forest, we're now getting to about here, um, that you're you're stumbling more, almost as if the ground is slightly more uneven. Um, it doesn't... Why it's yeah, it doesn't really appear to be, uh, but for some, maybe it's like roots, you know what I mean, that are sort of popping up or something. Um... <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I was going to make that joke. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you've actually come up to a bit of a river. Um, it's not, uh, in, like, it's not some, like something you couldn't ford. But it's, um, just do my little drawing over here for you. This is your beautiful little river. Oh, small creek. Yeah, um, but it, it's something that would take it's... maybe five minutes to to cross if you're going. Damn it! Oh no, it's none of those guys. No, that's what I mean. Like, is it like running up along this dirt path here? Like, uh, is it's this kind the, of the riverbed. Yeah, uh, the river is kind of coming like this through the forest. You can actually see, uh, if you scroll all the way down, the little quick scribble I did of the, the forest, um, where the river is coming from. Hmm. So you can see, okay, so, well, what, I mean, what I'm that map like, is, uh, like, here. Yeah, what, what I'm in is, like, is the river, like, doing one of these, because you got all this, this dirt right here. Yep, uh, it doesn't make it the full way through that dirt, but yes. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's eventually where it's headed feet. out, yeah. Okay, so... Better question is why the hell are we going through this part of the forest? Because I wanted to just do it like that, so we're in the forest for a scant few hours. Oh, okay, sure. Um, either way, we're going to come up to the river uh, a yes. little bit, but yeah, you, you don't have much to cross it then. Um, yeah. yeah. So as you're you're sort of coming up, a little bit of a creek, much smaller one then, since you're coming to the like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, creek. I mean, compared to some of these cities, that's a fucking huge creek. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So you're coming to a bit of a bit of the narrow of it. Um, mm -hmm. You notice the ground uh, on your side of the river is very uneven, but oddly. Um, I will give you all. You failed your listen, but I'll give you like a. Per, I forget. Did I call it search or sight or perception? Perception. Or, oh, wait. Something like that. Um, Spot hidden. Wait. That's the one. Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck that. I'm nope. <laughs> that's that a nope. Damn glasses. I have already. Well, that's not too bad. I have a twenty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can give you that origami. Oh shit! All right. So I'm not um, even going to bother, because knowing me, it's going to be like, 78! Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, Arndran <laughs> notices that some of the protrusions from the ground look to be like limbs, almost. Arms or a hand here or there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the fucking Thin Mints! <laughs> <laughs> they did like water, that's true. Well, that and also, like, we're gonna like start finding like little girl fingers and parts of the uh, <laughs> parts of the jersey little boy. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. So, is it just limbs, like no torso, head? Well, hair, they all descend into the earth. So oh. I assume this is your way of trying to coerce me into digging one up. In which case, no. No, I'm not. I would never. <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to dig one up. I would never. Does anybody have a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> I found your origami. Uh, I was going to say, do I know if it's animal or human? Yeah, like, it, is it a limb that we give a shit about? Uh, mm. it's, it's definitely human. Feck. Mm. Mm. How much sand do each character have again? Uh, it's, yeah, it's not a sand thing, thank God. <laughs> uh, okay. So the, like, is, but is a sand uh, a thing in this or no. not? No. No. Uh, I mean, you you can be afraid, but like, the fear is just like you being scared. Like it's 
it's like a, a debuff or wanting to run away or something like that. It's not like a, a point value that decreases till you die. I was thinking of digging up, digging up one bone and using it as a makeshift club. Or something okay. Like that. Yeah. Wow, that's um, my stick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's my oh, stick. Like, I get the uh, ability to use anything as a weapon. Well, how about instead of trying to dig one up, why don't we just try and pull? Okay, just pull one out? <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you just try and pull, and it's clearly attached to something, you have an entire course, but if you pull, it's... Um, oh. It is confirmed a body part, right? Or it's Yeah, it's human arms. Yeah. It's a limb. Uh, how old does it look? Ooh, yeah, is it good decayed and shit? Is it um, just a skeleton? It's less decayed than you'd probably think it would be, but it looks to be anywhere within, you know, three months two to weeks. a year. Oh, but well, it, that's... Yeah. So oh, the like, skin is well past being fresh. It's Yes, it's not fresh, fresh. Necrotic. It's, it's mm -hmm. black and sloughing off. Yeah. I was about to say mummified skeleton. But it, hmm. so the interesting thing is, so it does look like the skin is decrepit, like it's sort of uh, rotting away, but it's holding itself on well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, zombies. Yeah, maybe. Um, well, I could give you a little bit of a thing. Does anyone <laughs> have, let's see, let's do a, a fun knowledge roll here. I doubt it. <laughs> um, what do you think, knowledge spirits? I think that would be fun. Yeah, uh, everyone can roll knowledge spirits, see if they know anything. I already have a 10 of that. <laughs> I failed. You have a 10, though. You have better a than five. Else. You be quiet. I got five. I feel no spirits. Already I failed. Uh, no luck. <laughs> what are spirit? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, you guys aren't sure if zombies are a thing or if the dead come back, per se. <laughs> <laughs> are any of them moving? Uh, not right now. <laughs> um. Do I find any, any... Can I intimidate one of them? <laughs> well, maybe. So, Rudy, <laughs> your character as a wanderer, um, you have traveled the land. Uh, more so, like, I mean, your civilization is settling down now, but the wanderers are still very nomadic. They're, um, think of a ronin, if you will. That's much the idea of, of a wanderer. They just go from place to place to place, and they just work for a little bit of food and board for the night, and then they keep going. And eventually, you've come to settle down in the fact that you're trying to sort of get into this police force, if you will, this sort of peacekeeping uh, system. But you've traveled a lot, so you know what I mean? If you think that maybe you've encountered either tales or you've heard of zombies before, maybe you've seen one in a forest somewhere, maybe you saw one in a mountain cave, let me know, dude. Like, if that's something you think you've seen. Well, I do have the Forgotten. Uh, each member at birth has, bears the rune of the Forgotten somewhere mm. on them. That's true, yeah. So that, that's right, what does it mean tribe. it says one slash day? Is it a one-time use? Or yep, so like once day? once every day, you can ask mm -hmm. a question to see if any other member of your tribe has ever um, known the answer to that question. Hmm. Now, do I use that now or wait? Man, yeah, that's tough, right? Hmm. Well, it'll is there any... Once a day? Or will it be able to use it twice a day? Or... Well, I mean, if like once you camp for the night, you'll be able to use it again tomorrow. So you can use it more than one session, potentially. Mm, okay. Most sessions are usually going to be like one or two days, though. So it's not going to be like... Mm. It's just because we're doing like a massive like journey, as opposed Ooh. to like... Most sessions are probably just going to be like, you know, you, you go here and you deal with this town or whatever. Question. Like, yes. Can I, can I use my, uh, my, what's this, uh, my, my knowledge, uh, my tribe of pistol, since it is the life and death, I mean, birth and life. Sorry, your knowledge of tribe of, sorry. V Vista? Oh, Vista, yeah, um, yeah. 
not not so much. Um, Velka. The thing is, so Vesta is associated with life, and Velka with death. Velka is Vesta's sister in the god pantheon, if you will. She's a giant wasp. Pretty much nobody worships her except like the the seers, which are sort of the priest class, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah, um, but, um, but I'll, yeah, I'll give you that. You can go ahead and roll, because um, you'd probably know about both of them together. Those are very intertwined. Yeah, because they say like, uh, uh, like avoid zombies. Some well, like can we tell what tribe these limbs? Is there any discerning factors like? Tattoos oh. left on the skin or something like that. Okay. Um, I know. Yeah, the not not so much a, a tribal tattoo as yeah. Let's go ahead. And, okay. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say yes, and it looks very much to be like the sort of markings that people of the tribe of Pythar would have. And uh, they do have residence around Spikeberry Fields. A lot of Spikeberry Fields are, are people from Pythar. Hmm. Well, then, since they're Pythar, then, like, wait, are all Pythar diseased? Or just me specifically? Like, just you so specifically. Much? All Pythar okay. are immune to fire, though. Okay. Um, Origami's mm. character, um, Leafburner, is also a tribe of Pythar. Mm. So yeah, that's why both of you, <laughs> like there was two Pythars because Spikeberry Fields is right there. And Shimmer Bay is mainly populated by people from Yugri's tribe, so two of the characters are also like from Yugri. Okay, well, if, they, if these limbs belong to diseased people, though, then they would look, well rotted, but they might not necessarily have been dead for six months. They might have been dead for, like, four weeks. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, if you, you know, kind of got the leprosy going, then <laughs> slight problem. Yeah. Uh, is there any sign of the body uh, damage to the body, like, uh, obvious ones? Like a brain? Well, we haven't pulled the body out yet. We only got oh. limbs. Oh. Uh, if you were to yeah. dig up a little bit of it, I could probably tell you that, yeah. Like, all right, got me. Start digging. Anybody got a shovel? <laughs> Actually, you know, we still haven't tugged on a limb. Just pull one. Okay. <laughs> pull the other one. So you you pull one and you do yank part of an arm up. You you know sort of clear the arm and the hand, almost the shoulder level, and you can see the shoulder keeps going into the earth. And uh, it's at that moment you almost hear a voice. It was as if, like, the wind rushed past you quickly, and there was something said, but you couldn't catch it. Hmm. <laughs> I jiggle the arm around enthusiastically, trying to get the voice to come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can just imagine the just coming right out. Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> just... Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, while jiggling the arm, um, you notice that... Um, the other arm starts jiggling. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Fucking zombies! <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if we would know that or not. Well, I suppose. Mm -hmm. it, it appears that the body, while still fresher than perhaps it should be... Um, seems to be empty of blood. Mm. But we're not near Transylvania. True, we're not. We're near Spikeberry Fields. <laughs> mm. Fuck, vampires. <laughs> Did I check any of the uh, where the veins would be, if it's anything cut? Okay, yep, good call. Um, it oh, does... pull the whole damn body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are, are you... Pulling a whole one up, or are we just checking the arm? Well, we could, we could check the arm before we pull up the rest of the zombie. Okay. We check it. How about we check it as we're pulling it? Okay. Um. So as you're pulling the whole body out, looks like, um, 
like this body anyway, has a huge gash uh, across its throat. Um, oh, and boy. the head, the head doesn't hang sort of like limply, but it's it's back anyway. Some kind of ritual. Or an mm -hmm. execution. It's a, what, a Colombian necktie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, yeah. Take the, the tongue out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, is it, like, obviously he died of ex exanguination then, but is the slash, like, from a bladed weapon, or is it like a ragged hole torn by something well, less sharp via claws or teeth? Oh, okay. Yes, it's very, very ragged. So whether it was some sort of serrated weapon, or whether, again, it was like blade, like a, like teeth or like claw, yeah. It's a, it's a very large hole, though. So, like, what whatever it was was thick. Hmm. So it's not lizard like lizard people calling it now. Well, the lizard people, eh? Fucking Maybe. lizard people. <laughs> Fucking, Fucking space sausages. <laughs> That's right, space sausages. Lizard people are space sausage too. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Hmm. Help! Start pulling up the other ones. All right. So as you're pulling these up, you're noticing. Um, yeah, they're all cut in some way, like, either, like, throat or, or wrist, but all by major artery points. <laughs> mm, getting awfully close to the, uh, the boys there to bite that ar uh, artery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> some weird-ass vampires. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pleasure the victim before you just murder them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, could you mm -hmm. get a little harder? This isn't doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't bite there. Further up the thigh. There. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, you never know. There's people that get off by choking, so... I don't That's know. true, yeah. So how many bites you bite in total? In total, you're looking at about 20. Jesus, the, uh, like a whole day passed. Uh, so... Extreme, like, I don't know, a large mound nearby of, like, a hidden uh, cart or something. Yeah, or like, I was, I was literally about to ask, like, like caravan? has, yeah, has a caravan gone missing lately? Because this is a lot of fucking dead people. <laughs> Um, funny mention, yes, in the sort of shallows of the water is an overturned caravan. It's uh, quite rotted, uh, however. Is there one of those big-ass bison corpses? No. Is there any goods left in the caravan? Um, no, it's mostly like rotted, like food supplies and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. This might not... Could this be an ambush? Yeah, is there... Well, since obviously these people all got fucked, is the caravan fucked as well, or...? Oh, okay. There are giant scorch marks in some size of the caravan that aren't underwater. Um, the underwater mm. parts, it's, it's hard to say. It's all fucking rotted to shit. But yeah. Mm. So it's been burnt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Goddamn lizard people. Now they got flame breath. So I don't know if lizards would like fire, though. Well, they are cold-blooded. Yeah, they're cold-blooded. They would like warm things, but fire would be... never seen Godzilla? Be... <laughs> well, it's a nuclear Fire would be pretty dangerous, though. Like, you'd figure lizard people would live in, like, cave environments. Fire, cave, fire. Yeah, it is a bit dangerous, yeah, I agree. Again, also, caves everything. can have stuff like sulfur in them, and if you like <laughs> sulfur or coal deposit on fire, you get problems. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking this is an ambush or some kind of uh, raid. I'm still saying there's are people raided those people and killed them. I'm saying I'm happy they're not fucking. 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good thing. So are we... Sorry. Oh, I was about to say, uh, can I put the bodies like in a burial site and burn them? Give them a rite of passage? Okay. Um, I'm just... I'm going to throw you a bone here. Um, because they're from the tribe of Pythar, they won't burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none uh, of the corpses. Kind of, you can set them on fire, but <laughs> they're just gonna be on fire. <laughs> Should we? Hey, borrowed. Hmm? I'm gonna say on fire eventually <laughs> during a fight. <laughs> set the tank on fire and throw them at the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have leaf burger too, so I mean, this is potentially a thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just give them the right passage and burn the bodies. But we can't burn them. They're Pythar. They're fire immune. Jeez. <laughs> okay, well, how about we, like, bury them? Like, actually bury them so we don't have fucking arms sticking out giving us a fucking thumbs up as we go past. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. Uh, I'm okay with it, but I do want to warn you um, that's going to slow us by it. A long you want time. to warn us what? You have turned yourself off. You what? Oh, sorry. Am I, am I still off? No. no. Oh, yeah. okay. You said I'm... you want to warn us... Yeah, I mean, burying all those bodies may take a while, like, properly. Okay, well, you chuckle fucks can bury them. I'm gonna climb across the fucking wagon that is apparently in the middle of the river. Yep. Because that, that would make a pretty damn easy fording of the river. I don't need to worry about organ That's trail right, yeah, this bitch. Just, yeah, you just climb over the, the wagon, for sure. It's a little creaky, a little gross, but, I mean, yeah, it's doable. I mean, you're not too worried about nicer mold. than trying to slip on rocks in the river. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as you're crossing, you, again, it's almost as if you heard someone speaking to you. A loud, <laughs> loud gust of wind buffets you uh, as you're about halfway across. Pull my finger. <laughs> Pull my finger. <laughs> not like this, boys. <laughs> you said a loud gust of wind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did indeed, yeah. You continue. Okay. Well, is the wind continuing or is the wind stopped? Well, the wind cut out, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's where Sufferson sucks, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, like, I mean, if he's over there digging a hole, I'm going to continue across the river because there's no sense in us all being on the same side. That's asking to get killed. Okay, well, as you continue across, um, you don't even need rolls for this because somebody's digging a hole and stuff. Um, all the bodies start getting up. Oh. <laughs> and they... You hear a, a yell now. Again, it's some language you've never heard in your goddamn life. But he's... But these, he's, people are all, these people are all Pythar. Yes. But, so it's not one of the corpses, then? No, it's one of the corpses. You can... Like, if you were to look, like you could see him yelling at you, but it's... You know, his mouth is moving anyway. It's just you can't understand at all. Okay. It's like yelling Egyptian, basically. Can I, can I punch the uh, zombie? In the okay, face? there's 20 of them. You're going to punch one of them? Yes, because I am see. pissed off because I'm giving them right a passage and they won't <laughs> fucking see that. See, th this is why I didn't want to, like, unbury them all the way. I never okay. really spoke up on that, but, like, if you just only unbury them, like, or so upwards. Yeah, it's a lot then, harder like, for them to get out of the ground, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a guy sitting there, like, flailing aggressively at yeah. us, waving. All right, Origami, oh. if you want to go ahead and give me a punch, uh, you don't have to roll for it, because he's not ready for this hit. Um, so, oh. is your oh. arm skill 60% higher? Yeah, so you deal 1d8 damage. Uh, 1d8. Hey, oh. solid hit. Um... The guy's head flies off. It's still moving. <laughs> it's it's struggling to move in your direction. He is much slower than the rest of them now. I, I'll feel, uh, I'm feeling slightly, uh, slightly Can they swim? Angry. I can. I don't know. <laughs> um. And see, that's the nice thing about being from the the forgotten tribe is. Any time, like once a day, you can just be like, uh, DM, I fucking have a question I really want to know the answer to. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. but, what but does this really say on the wall? Or can he swim? Or do lizard men have fire though, breath? <laughs> is that we still have the cart in the middle of the river. They can still clamber over that. That's true. So maybe you don't want to use your power to ask if they can swim. 
you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you want to, like, phone a translator or something, or maybe uh, you want to, like, um, is, do they have a weakness or something? But it's just, question. keep in mind, you can always, like... Is it only one question? Like, well, if I ask, as an example, okay. what are they, and then what language do they speak? Like That's two questions. It's... Okay. Um, Technically, it's... Yeah, it is yeah, it's two questions, but it depends. In that case, I'm fine with explaining it, like doing two questions. It's just a case of like, um, it, it's, it's going to just come down to like, who knows? Like if, if a question is like super bullshit, like I'm probably just going to give you like the one question. But if it's like kind of like a related tangent, like you're sort of... It's not so much that you're asking a question as much as you're stealing ancestral knowledge, if you will. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I, so you're like tapping into like a data bank and going like, doo -doo -doo, like on the internet. So <laughs> <laughs> my memories are on. <laughs> yeah, Rudy's sitting there like Wikipedia, zombie fucktards. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> <doo -doo -doo> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> question. Uh, yes. I have. Was it shaped elements? Yes. What? What is it? So, uh, for the shaped it. elements, there has to be fire here, because you're a fire weaver. Ah, uh, there's no fire. <laughs> so, no fire for you, bitch. So, unless you start a fire, you can't, like, start moving fire around. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf burners just down. running down the beach. Just, 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 just. Um... <laughs> Do we want to ask the ancestors now, Lord, or not? I want to ask your dumbasses while you're still on that side of the river. Because <laughs> they got to get across anyways. Yeah, but well, they're I zombies, guess... though. Like, they're shuffling. They're full of rigor mortis and cancer. Like, we have legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um... Fair enough. I guess are, quite... are... <laughs> Are these fast zombies, Rob? I swear to God, <laughs> they're not fast zombies. They're I can run as fast as a person. Zombies. That's bullshit. <laughs> what? Like their muscles and skin are falling off the bone. How can they run that? Quick? No, they're, they're not falling. Magic. Off. It's magic. You you said the skin was like necrotic and falling off the bone. I didn't say it was falling. Arm. I said it, it said was not falling off the bone. Borrowed you said it was necrotic. Though. It is. Like, that means like yeah. it's degrading. Like, it definitely is. Yeah. Even though it's, it's not falling off the bone, like it's magic. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... if we outrun them, then their regiments will tear. Ave I mean, eventually, I was... that's probably likely. Yes. I was going to say I was going to punch uh, each one of those zombies as Rudy really goes across, and then I'll go across. Well, Origami's just going to stand on the top of the wagon, just keep punching them as they come. Let's send the guy yes. with the sword across the river, and I'm by the way, I'm already going across the river. By the way. Oh, okay. Well, uh... I'm I have a bigger sword than you, but I'm already bodies. on the other side of the river. I'm not going back across to fucking fight zombies. <laughs> Screw that. Yeah. I'm, but I'm already knee-deep in dead bodies because I was burying them. That's true, yeah. You're kind of in the middle. Shit creek, as it were. Shit, we better go back and save them then, damn. Oh, sorry, I got me. You're dead, boy. Well, you are a kung fu master. Sort of. <laughs> you know little bits oh. of kung fu. <laughs> I will punch them. All of them. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right then. Punch, man. I punched in the ship. Well, give me an unarmed roll. It's a sixty or less, my boy. Oh sh. Oh, that was your damage. I was like, what? Uh, you get one in them off. Ah. Uh, you crit on a three, I think. Yeah. Do uh, do zombies take intimidation? I don't know. We're assuming they're I mean, zombies. I know. But <laughs> oh, fuck. okay, well you just like kick past one. <laughs> Maybe like <laughs> kick him in the nuts and just no effect. Yeah, it's like, like, <laughs> Shit, <laughs> this awkward, yeah. Me. It makes like a splorch sound, you're just looking down at your foot. Like, Ew, <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> What kind of shoes is he wearing? <laughs> oh, He's not. Probably not. He's a monk, I'm dude. I'm wearing fucking... <laughs> like... wearing Air Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing like, leaves as my foot covers. <laughs> oh, you got leaves. Yeah, that'll protect the splurge. 
<laughs> well, good news, uh, Boros are immune to disease because he is one. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> you don't can, worry I, about it. can I tell, uh, can I yell at uh, Brody or Borrow to make a fire or something so they could throw it at me and just fucking have my fists on fire as I punch them? It won't do anything, but at least, uh, I don't know. You can't set yourself on fire. You're going to burn your hands off. No, he's immune to he's it. He's a python. He's immune to fire. Yeah. Immune to fire. Um, so okay, catch well, on fire. <laughs> like, I One, guess since I'm already on the other side of the river, too. can I throw a rock at them? Like, <laughs> my ranged weapon skill is shit, but I don't care. Well, you actually use Wait, no, throwing. Wait, no, that's throwing, actually. That's, okay, slightly less shit. Okay, alright, give me a throw, then. 1d4 <laughs> damage. If you hit. Okay, well... I miss. miss yeah. Can I pick one of the other zombies, though? Because there's fucking, well, 19 and a half of them over there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, yeah. Give me 1d4 damage. Come on. <laughs> so apparently, like, I, I grazed uh -oh. a, a limb or something. Like, I hit him in the shoulder. Thunk! Okay. <laughs> he picks it up, whips it back, and hits you for four. <laughs> what? His arm better come off from fucking doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daniel. I'll give you that. This? I'll give you that. He throws his arm with it. <laughs> they both collide with you. Now that's it. You only take three damage. You do have armor on. <laughs> so wait, what? But but ninety five physical resist. Oh yeah, that's not what that means. <laughs> what the fuck does it mean? This? So so like physical resist would be like um. Like a resisting a physical condition, like a poison or a stun, or uh, um, yeah. They should have phrased that better. Yeah. Just well, I mean, I can always change at any time. That's a nice thing. Because anything physical, I'm thinking like Getting something hit in the face. hitting you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck it. He just took. He just hit me with his arm. I'm taking his arm and I'm leaving. All right. Well, like, like, this is fucking way. mine now. Like, <laughs> they're it. they're all starting to chase you, and they're all uh, starting to yell. <laughs> Again, no, you don't I understand what you're yelling. Borrowed, because I could use that as a weapon. That's true. Well, yeah. Love, so how many of them are uh, in, like in the soil or halfway let's, in it? Okay, so let's say at this point, one of them is dead. Um, one of them is missing an arm, <laughs> but still. One of them is so, missing a head. <laughs> yeah. So let's say. 13 of them are attempting to cross the river, and six of them are trying to surround you. Uh, are they, like, how covered is, uh, or some kind of mud, soil, or clay, whatever have you, because then the riverbank, um, may have been... So-so, yeah. Uh, is the time to ask how to stop I, these things? <laughs> can I, wait, I was going to ask Rudy or Borrow to make a fire throw at me, so I could, like, uh... We don't have time to but, stop. But me. origami. One, we don't have time to start a fire, and two, these dead zombies are still pyth. Our fire does nothing. I, I know. Just let me finish explaining. <laughs> I, 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 I know. I know. You're not going to do anything to him, though. Will you let me explain? <laughs> Fine. Okay. I, I know. I know what he's thinking. Not going to work. I know what he's thinking. He's trying to like cake them. Yes. Like you. to like to bake the mud onto them so they can't move. Exactly. exactly. Okay, like, you're gonna dry it out, and then just gonna crack, and they're just okay. gonna come right off. That's how mud works. So right, you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna free them up more. They're gonna be more mobile. If they're covered in mud, we can run away. Like that's gonna slow them down. No, yeah, so I was, I would say like if they were half covered, like like to the yeah, waist. Yeah, but half, no. well, I'm saying that the zombies are still in ground. I could you unburied all in, of them. I yeah, that them was a thing. Yeah. The, I will bake them. buried them all. I will bake them into the ground, thus I'll be able to get that hell out of there. But we we literally unburied all of them, though, Origami. They're That's already nobody up to and bait. chasing us, Origami. That's You're being ask. surrounded. That's why yeah. I'm asking if the zombies were, like, in the ground. Not yeah, not, you said not, quite, this, not quite enough to do that. Six of them were surrounding you, the rest are coming after Borrow and I. Hey. Because that's all I was asking. All right. Well, what are we doing then, boys? I'm still punching. <laughs> well, origami can have fun dying. I'm gone. Give me an unarmed roll, origami. I'm with borrowed run. Uh, oh yes. 
still one one d hundred, right? Yeah, six to your list. Crit on eighty nine critical fail. Oh god, here we go. Oh, Ooh, there you go. You hit. All right, one d eight damage. Is there a, that was a double. critical? No, oh, no, that's Call of Cthulhu. Or that's okay. Delta Green, actually. Yeah, sorry. Hey, another good hit. So that's another one you pretty much killed. Just like punch your like fist through his chest cavity and pull it back out. I was going to aim like fist to head. Oh, if you want to, yeah. You punch another head off? Yep. Huh? Just... Works. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how close are the other zombies who borrowed on I? Well, if you guys just keep running and don't worry about origami, you should be able to eventually outpace them. Oh, because they're, yeah, they're covered in mud and shit. Yeah. And probably literal shit as well. <laughs> probably, So, yeah. do you want to leave origami back and try to save him, or not? <coughs> well, you said, what, six were coming after us, or was it the thirteen? Thir thirteen are coming after you now, yeah. And there's six on origami. <laughs> that awkward moment of mm. <laughs> shit. Like, you guys do whatever. I'm just. I can't hear you. Or just. Uh... Cause you guys are well, on the other side. I would over. try and help, but my fucking fighting skills are all garbage. So. What you're you're not garbage at fighting. You've got like a yeah, melee attack no. skill. Yep. Melee weapon forty two. That's less than fifty. I'm not gonna succeed. <laughs> That's true. It's pretty low, I have actually. A 60. <laughs> but you do have a sword. Hey, Baron, give me that arm. I'm gonna go and swing it. I'm gonna use that arm as a weapon. I'm gonna use my long sword. All right. I'm well, Le do Leaf Burner thing. just got like slashed for two damage from this guy's like raggedy ass, bony hands. This is a special. Fuck it. I guess it's we're all gonna a... die then. <laughs> Fuck it, we're like, all gonna die. <laughs> it's only like a few zombies, please. It's, it's only like 20 zombies. zombies. It, is, oh. it is literally 18 zombies. Which I knocked I'm... two of them out. <laughs> yeah, so it's yes, 18 now. 18 yeah. of 20. We got yes. this shit, boys. Exactly. I mean, all right. statistically, all not in your favor, but that's okay. Well, I mean, like, I'm already a seventh dead, so, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that's math, dude. Shit. Mm. No, it's, up, it's up to you guys. How you want to well, handle I mean, this. Otherwise, origami is like, pretty much guaranteed dead. So Yeah, unless he's got like a master plan. Yeah, so origami needs to start running towards <laughs> us so we can try and fucking save him. Otherwise, he's dead. Yeah. Origami, just run up a tree and set yourself on fire. I don't know. <laughs> like, what's your plan, <laughs> just dude? Just burn down the forest. I'm still <laughs> punching. <laughs> All right, give me another unarmed attack then. And what are All you two right, doing? Well, I'm gonna go back and save him. I have the arm and my long sword. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna find the. Oh, cool. I find the. I did something. Okay. Um. So okay. give me is it one d eight? I believe for your weapon. It was one d ten. Yeah. Mindset. Nice. Now what about the arm? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, so that is, um... Oh, I only just... did two. Fuck. Yeah, you just make another melee attack roll, and then you roll for it for damage, which I believe... So another d10? Yeah, d100, sorry. Oh, that's... Yeah, D100? and then it'll be 1d8 damage, if you hit. So I roll another d100? Another d100 yeah. to see if the arm connects. Yeah. I, well, I have 60, it's 61. Yeah, I'll I'll give you that, and we'll just do like, let's do like half that six. Let's do a three. I think that's all right. Okay. So yeah, you hit for five. You smash another one's like head off with his own arm. <laughs> right, probably got that same guy. Um, Fuck that guy. <laughs> but all right. The thing is, so the ones that you've taken the heads off, they're still coming. They're just very slow and disorganized. They're they're not dead. Um, we have, we have a metric fuck ton of attacks coming in, and I'll I'll let you do your shtick first, Borrowed. Um, if we are gonna fight them, 
I'm just saying I, I maybe didn't intend to fight all of these guys at once in this way. Um, and yeah, that's so we're a... all going to die. Pick but, a new character. No, I'm just saying uh, if we do want to f- use your phone a friend and say like do you have a weak point or anything. Yeah, um, I was going to say I might as well use that. Yeah, That's the easiest way to kill them. <laughs> yeah, because that's the nice thing about so, your tribe's power is just use it as a get out of jail. Like, okay, we fucked up. We know we did something we maybe shouldn't have done, and it didn't work out this time. So Before I use it, yes. can I ask what they are and what their weakness is? Would that be okay? Or yeah, that yeah that's fine, yeah. Right. Yeah, what the fuck are they, and how the fuck do I kill them? Okay, so yeah. this is actually um, not like crazy hidden knowledge, so it's actually very easy for you to find many members of your tribe who've encountered these before. These are known as the Restless Dead. Um, the Restless Dead are generally seen as benign, if you will. They're zombies in the sense that um, their spirits never passed on. Um, okay, so let, let me put it to you this way. There, there's sort of two types of sort of major undead entities in this game. Um, there are the, well, there's technically three, but we're not going to deal with, about them for a while. So there is the restless dead, which are creatures that have a soul but no life, and husks, creatures that have life but no soul, um, or spirit, or whatever like you want to go Effect. with. Yeah, so these are, oh, I don't know, I haven't played Mass Effect really, but so these creatures are, are still uh, there, sort of mentally, if you will, but like, they're dead, um, for all intents and purposes. So the thing is, these guys actually aren't necessarily evil. Generally, they only attack if um, you don't sort of... Um, almost like if you don't follow their rules, but generally they're... Um, they're, they're their rules are asinine. Well, it, it depends on each of the restless dead. Normally, they're not in large groups. Normally, it'll just be like one... You know, maybe he was robbed, and so he sort of guards that area, and his corpse will come to life if somebody attempts to rob somebody. And upon completing whatever it was that he sort of set out as his task, then he finally, like, passes on. You know what I mean? (laughs) So the fact there's a shitload of them here means there's a shitload of them who are trying to do something. And, um... That's that. The reason why you can't understand them is they speak in a language known as the Hushed, uh, which is the language of the dead. Uh, Very few people can speak it. A seer class may always speak it. A diseased, because they have a special connection with death, um, have a chance to speak it. And uh, weavers can learn to speak it. So Mm. that's a thing. How can one learn so I might know what the fuck they're saying then? You might be able to, yeah. It's almost like, think of the diseased as, um... Is that me or is or, uh, Ralph will keep cutting out? He keeps oh, cutting out. Of- sorry, did, did I cut out again? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do that a lot. Oh, sorry guys. I don't know, it's probably just like I'm overheating and I keep like, pausing like my mic to like, sn- sniffle and stuff and I'm like... Ruffle, Not... you're with us, the people that fucking fart and burp and eat. <laughs> well, that's true, I know. I hate being an asshole, though. But, um... <laughs> so, think of the disease, I guess, kind of... Like, um... Oh, okay. Uh, kind of like Spider-Man, like a symbiote virus, if you will. But it's only slowly taking control. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, the more powerful you get as a disease, the more powerful this sort of magical, who-the-fuck-knows-what-it-is disease... Uh, makes you, but also the sort of less of you there is, and it's a constant fight with a disease character to sort of keep that that balance. So it's a case of sort of letting the disease talk with them as uh, opposed to yourself, because the disease is this weird magical entity almost. So uh, yeah, you have a 30% chance to do that. Um, origami, you would actually... You have to like level up your class 
mm. and then you can train in it. Um, Rudy, however, because he has used his once a day power and he's got all this knowledge, there were seers in the Forgotten Tribe at some point. There currently still are, stuff like that. So he can talk to them right now because he's used it. Because again, think of it, um, easy way, just think of it like a Wikipedia page. So if you're burning it as a Wikipedia page, you can... You have the like, entire Wikipedia you... page on the Restless Dead. Yes, but that's what you have <laughs> for today, yeah. Um, does that mean I can actually speak it fluently? Like, Yep, you can. You won't remember how to speak it fluently tomorrow, but for the rest of today, you can. Well, I... What the balls are they yelling at us about? Yeah. <sighs> Well, okay, so... I climbed over the fucking car, doesn't it? So is Rudy going to be like, whoa, hey, stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's yeah, going to be yelling I, it out. I, well, if he doesn't tell me to stop, then I'm going to start fucking <laughs> cleaning. So... And I can't hear anything. Well, I would want to say, put down my weapons, like, not all the way down, but still be able to block in case. <laughs> After I smash your head off with your arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, they technically attack us That's, That yeah, is like, true. Like that they is started shit. Like, that is true. Reciprocation okay. and kind. So so what yeah. are you saying? Um, Try to seize the fighting just to figure out what's going on. Like, Well, I mean, like, weren't they gurgling something at us? Like, did we kill the gurgler? No, they they were all sort of gurgling angrily afterwards, yeah. So you can still hear parts of those gurgling. Um, uh, but, so you basically you're like, okay, stop, you know, everybody. And they actually all stop because they hear you speak their language. You know, the language of the dead, which is kind of like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? So they're all, like, turned to you right now. What are you... Okay. You're just like can asking take... them, what are you buying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, can I take this um, time to escape? Because they're all like standing still. Yeah, sure. So you can rush towards the uh, the river. Yeah. Ask them what happened to them. Like, how do they die? And why are they trying to touch my butt? <laughs> yeah. Why are you trying to touch like, my butt? Why do they attack us? And okay. Yeah. So the the lead one, if you will, is going to sort of move up, and he explains. Um, sort of a, a, a scenario here. Um, they were crossing this river. They got ambushed by the lizard men, which you guys got did it. successfully call. Yeah, good job there. It. They Ooh. got ambushed by the lizard men, and he's describing a few of them as having um, staves that produce beams of light that destroyed their wagon, but seemed to unharm them, leave them unharmed, rather. Uh, but there was there was a giant one, um, a very distinct looking lizardman, and he was chanting odd things. And this guy's men, um, as he was <laughs> yeah, sort of yeah, like, for time. <laughs> yes, so he was so he was um, chanting, you know, his Cthulhu Fatong and everything. Fucking Arachimus, we can't get rid of you. And this guy's men just started killing themselves. And he was just helpless to watch. And so he, you know, sort of was super pissed off and vowed that they would watch this river for people and, and convince them to come with them to stop the lizardmen, essentially. Why did they butt? <laughs> Why did they try and touch your butt? They were just gargling it, man. It was just, they got triggered. Mm hmm triggered by my butt like <laughs> hey my, my butt looks like your guys's butt like but to, to be fair we did dig them up you fucking dug them up I that's true yeah that, that was leaf burner <laughs> this is all your fault like i like i did a little dance routine with the dude's arm like hmm <laughs> <laughs> so he simply asks if you will join him in taking out the lizardman because he and his men have no weapons, and the lizardman seems to have a quite powerful ability over death. So he doesn't think in their current state they'd be able to take him. In our current state, we won't be able to either. Uh, yeah, I mean, a fucking dude nailed me with his arm for like basically a fucking crit. <laughs> 
<laughs> that nat three, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hold on. Well, guys, what do we do? Uh, I was about to say that maybe you could say that you are going to t take up the quest and <clears throat> for them to rest in peace. I mean, we also we also have Deldria to rescue as well. Something well, to keep in mind. Like, if we agree to help them, are they going to come with us, or are they all going to like rip in peace because they're going to have somebody do it? Uh, well, that comes down to your bargaining power, uh, or how you word it, or etc. You may be able to talk them, um, you know, an army of let's say 19, and be generous, because two of them are missing heads. <laughs> we'll count them as halves. Can we help them attach their heads? They're not so useless. <laughs> sure, yeah, you could do that. So you could, have... you could maybe talk them in having an army of 20 strong take on a lizardman, yeah. But technically it'd be 23 counting us. That's right, yeah. Barad, your opinion on this? I'm so pissed off about the arm, but sure, try it. <laughs> yeah, let's okay. try it then. Now, I just want to ask, are we going to mention the fact that we had a previous task, maybe? Young girl kidnapped, a murder, potentially starting another world war? Or are we just going to be like, yeah, no, totally, we'll spend the rest of our day hunting down your lizard band problem. We yeah, can ask, but, like, where the balls the Lizardmen went, because, like, if they didn't go towards Brill, then... No, they went up into Spikeberry. Well, into the woods between you and Spikeberry. To the western woods. Mm. And that's what I was saying. We could tell them that we would deal with them so they could peace out. Or we could have yeah, an army. Yeah, going to need their help. Like, like, either way. Well, for me, either way is fine. Hmm. Well, it's up to you, boys. Oh, well, these the ones speaking there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I like I said, I only see two options. Either we have the army, or they could peace out. Or we could like. Like, wait here for two days or something. It's up to you guys how you want to try yeah. and... Well, if we were to just peace out and be like, we'll be back in, you know, two days' time, would they not die? Um, that, well, okay, so... Would they, would they still be angry dead so they wouldn't die? Yeah, mechanically how I do it is I, I assign groups of the restless dead with a heart value much like your characters have the heart stat if it's ever reduced to zero they pass um and things you can do can lower it so maybe if we were to for example these guys are probably from spikeberry fields if we were to show them like mementos from spikeberry fields that would reduce it so we could have maybe reduced it other ways um without even talking to them and just had them go away. Um, like, not saying that was the only option I'd written up. I'm just saying that that is an option. So, yes, mechanically, we can be like, look, we haven't reduced their heart value. I mean, maybe by like one point because we've spoken with them. But the point is, they're still pissed. They still have a job to do. So we can definitely be like, wait the fuck here. I now, they... if we don't come back, they might be angry. <laughs> might be a thing <laughs> but that's up to you that's up to you as players whether that's something you want to pursue I, I got a question though because we're like right here right yeah so instead of continuing to the road uh, you know how to use the yeah it's ruler please so instead of continuing like this way we could continue uh, like like through the forest try to encounter the, well, uh, that's the thing. They're on the over here, or over here somewhere. No. Did we? Did we guarantee they went east, not west? No, it was uh, the. It's about here. I have written for the, oh. the lizard. Sorry, this, so it's this on time. The way. Yeah, that's so we, we cut through the forest on the way because we're like, yeah. 
Sunday. Like. So, mm. what's the time? Like, well, it's getting late in the evening now because we did dig up a lot of bodies and shit. Um, like so we how late's late? Say what, 9 p.m.? Yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, that's fucking late. Well, yeah, okay. We can do 6 p.m., that's fine. I was gonna say, hopefully about 7 or 8, so it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. Then we can try to take out the lizard men while they're sleeping. Assuming they sleep. Now, I will but say... that's the thing, though. Like, we have over a day's travel ahead of us through the forest. And lizard men do see in darkness. Perfectly. Because they live in yeah. caves. Maybe, maybe not, but <laughs> the point is, yes, um, we would be at a slight disadvantage in that scenario. Well, if they carry, like, freaking staffs of light, we could see them through the forest. Well, that's true. Uh, staves that projected them. beams of light. Well, were these beams of light or were these beams of fire, though? Because they scorched the cart, they didn't hurt the people, but the people are Pythar. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I love I love putting stuff that in, like that in. I love putting hints, but never the full thing. So it's like, we, you know, everyone can feel a little bit clever. But yeah, I would I would reckon that's a fair estimate. So <laughs> they just had torches. <laughs> <laughs> they were throwing torches at us. Uh. <laughs> they were carrying uh, these things. They lit all of our shit on fire. But wait, we're fine. Y you're Pythar. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, do I have like sense or like smelling so I could? Uh, it, well, well, you have a nose. <laughs> I know, but the I don't think you would smell it. Be dead people. Well, uh, because since I'm, uh, I'm basically a firebender, I would know how uh, smoke can smell like. Yeah, like, um, yeah. It's a good also, thing I didn't try and light a fire, eh? <laughs> yeah, actually. You smell a fire that's seven feet away from you. Um, yeah. Origami, if you check the bottom of your page there on the second page. Sense element, a weaver can always sense the presence of an element they are attuned to. So, yes. yes. So you can sense fires nearby. Campfire, so I want to sense campfires. There is one to the west of you, yeah. Ah, uh, see? So we have an army of zombies, and you know <laughs> Zombies, that. come with me, my friend! <laughs> come, oh, my don't, don't minions call them friends. rise! <laughs> <laughs> But don't call them friends. I would decrease their heart value. That's right. Like, yeah, friends. Oh, you know, crumble. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Come with yeah. me, you dicks. <laughs> I killed them with kindness. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I would so, turn one of the heads to so them in the arms. Yeah, have them come with and take on these people during the daytime. Or? Wait. Well, it's, uh, it's it's almost a nighttime, so it's, it's almost yeah. dusk now. So we'd be at a disadvantage. Uh, and I oh. lose my ability soon. Well, yeah, yeah we pretty true. much have to convince them. No, no. no, we can convince them that we're going to go there in the morning then. So we can actually yeah, fucking but, uh, see. Yeah, but I would have to let them know I will not be able to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a, In the morning, I won't be able to talk to you. Maybe this ugly motherfucker to my left will, but we don't know. <laughs> There's only a 30% <laughs> chance. <laughs> uh, but I would also explain that I have this ability and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, of course. I don't yeah. understand. Well, I, we could, like, uh, try to... Or you could just Wikipedia the Angry Dead tomorrow again. True. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I prefer, like, an ambush. Because they would, they would expect, like, uh, they would smell for, like, three people. And, like, mm. yeah. I mean, they would smell you a lot of dead smell people like a before they smell oh, like <laughs> exactly. You should yeah. see my friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, yeah, I'd... fuck it. Might as well go now. I mean, it's not like dark yet. It's just dusk. True. Fuck it. Yeah, but they're gonna have an advantage seeing in the dark, though. Yeah, but they're I mean, as long as there's there, not though. like seventy of them, then and we I mean, have a numerical advantage. Origami can set the forest on fire if someone starts mm. a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and they do have a fire so they... <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. If this is ember, I will use it. All right. Wow. That's that's pretty deep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we we heading in now? We're marching in. We're giving them the order. Well, we can only talk to them for a scant few more hours. So yeah. All right. Well, they they agree to follow your lead. Then they say, "Command us as you will." Um, and they are going to take the next like ten minutes before you leave, and they are ripping up like basically pieces of wood and planks and shit from the the cart. You know, bits of metal strippage stuff like that. 
Uh, I guess I could give the dude back his arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't reattach yeah, it, but yes, you can, you can yeah, hand it to him. Begrudgingly give it back to him. He now has a club. <laughs> Well, technically, I would have to give it back since I've been holding it. Well, that's true, yeah. Well, here's your yeah. back. I'm oh, sorry fucking, uh, you with it. Yeah. Yeah, Sir, what, Sir Walter Galloway. Fucking uh, medieval. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, I haven't played medieval in so long. I haven't played medieval since the PS1. Well, I think it's only on PS1, isn't it? Medieval I... 2 also is PS1. Maybe it was ported to computer? Can't guarantee. Oh, I'll have to check, actually. That could be fun to stream. Um, Sounds fun. It's just a watch. shitty platformer beat 'em up thing. It, yeah, but I mean, it, it's a PS One game. Of course, it's shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So you guys march. Um, you're going to be coming up to one of the sort of the outskirts of the camp. Uh, it's about two hours later, so it's about eight o'clock. And as you're progressing through the forest, it's faint at first, but the closer and closer you get, yeah, you start hearing these drums. This beating. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Be like, God damn it. Yeah, but the thing is, this the beating of the drums, the closer you get, the louder it gets to the point where it's like, it's almost like hurting your head. And um, you start noticing your heart starts beating to the beat of these drums. <laughs> My heart doesn't beat. <laughs> Give me a spot hidden. Spot hidden. Mine's a 20. Fuck it. I think uh, all of ours. Ooh, are probably... ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> Leaf Lord burner sees them. a thing. I found. Nope. Leaf I burner. I saw a half of a thing because I doubled the roll. <laughs> <laughs> so leaf burner actually sees um, two look to be um, younger um, children, maybe, um, but bodies that have been sort of cut open fairly recently, and. Um, the blood from them has pulled out, but is flowing up an embankment towards the direction you're headed. Like the blood is flowing up, or yes. there's just there. So the blood's flowing uphill. Yes, towards the way you're headed, and it moves okay. much faster every time the drum goes doom, doom, doom. Hmm, I could probably make this uh, uh, the undead move ahead of us. <laughs> Guys, it's getting spooky. Send the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So, before we, before we do anything too far towards the camp, though, mm -hmm. I collected the resin earlier. Correct. I'm fireproof. All the zombies are fireproof. I'm covering them in resin. Oh, you clever fuck. Because resin is fucking flammable. <laughs> oh my we're god. Gonna have, Are we going to have 20 <laughs> flaming zombies going yes. to the fucking camp? Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine? That is terror tactics. Sir, I was what's that, that smell? It's <laughs> <Just> like <laughs> 20 flailing flaming zombies <laughs> jumping through a forest. And then since 20 my fire is pretty good, so. flaming zombies. Like, you can hit them with fucking torches, it doesn't matter. You can hit them with your fucking blazer <laughs> stick, it doesn't work either. It didn't work earlier. <laughs> Let this be known as the year for Spike Berry Fields Forest burnt down. <laughs> do we, how many of the lizards people do we see? Uh, right now, you don't see any of them. Oh. I haven't let the zombies on fire yet, though. They're just covered in resin. I'm going to light them on fire when we get closer to the camp. As, yeah. It's as but how are we going to light them on fire? As well, either we're going to can bend some fire into them, or we can just, you know, like, get some fucking flint and tinder. No, I was going to say, uh, uh, just uh, tell one of the zombie, hell of zombies to throw their heads, see what they see. <laughs> <laughs> what do your zombie eyes see? Oh. All right. Well... That is some shit. <laughs> I don't know if it works that way, but let's say it does. Um, so, yeah, he's just throwing it ahead constantly and letting you know what he sees. <laughs> throwing it ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually he like, sees... Well, we can just like, put it on top of a stick and just like hold it up over the crest of the ridge and just be like, what's over there? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little radar. Just boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so eventually he sees a path um, and a little bit of a side path leading up to an altar. So the altar is going to be here-ish. 
You guys see that ping? You see that fine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple trees, and there is at the altar. Um, you guys are going to be approaching from about this way. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So you guys are approaching from about this way. Um, at the the altar seems to be um, a larger lizard man. There's two of them near the altar, and then three as well in the camp. And the camp is not a pretty sight. There are a fair amount of bodies hung up and flayed, um, like you know, by their ankles. And it... so we we've, we've got you said five standard lizardmen and the big fucker. Yes. Oh yeah, we have numerical advantage by far. <laughs> yes. There's also a large um, pool of an unknown metal, sort of uh, recessed into the ground. And all the blood is is pouring into it. Hey guy. So, so you, you guys explaining to do? As you guys are young, um, younger rather. I mean, you know. Um, would any of you be bothered by this? Mm. Well, I mean, like I have dead people all the time, so yeah. no. <laughs> I think the oh, disease yeah. is fine. I think the wanderer might be all right because he's seen some shit traveling the roads. I was roads. say, a wanderer would see some shit. Exactly. So I'm wondering if leaf blower or leaf blower. <laughs> 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 that, that would be <laughs> that would be the airbender what one. The hell? Um, <laughs> I was going no, to say, yeah. uh, are they mostly human? Yeah. The, the uh, yeah the bodies yeah. Oh, like no, there, okay, so there's I'm no good. beastman corpses though, right? There's like one or two, but yeah, not really. Oh. Damn. If only Brill wasn't so far away. He'd be like, hey, Beastman, there's some lizardmen that killed your friends. Uh... Well, and maybe that's a bargaining thing you guys could have when you get to Brill then. Um, yeah, exactly. Be in way. <laughs> just, just take a Polaroid. Ah, okay. <laughs> lizardmen, there you go. Yeah, I got some black and black man. Now, you assholes. <laughs> so what do you say, boys? Origami was asking. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, do you? Are, is this gonna disturb Leaf Burner? I was about to say uh, if it was like mostly human, mm -hmm. like you like a species. Yeah, maybe maybe, like maybe a... enrage her somewhat. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and give me a mental resist then, which I think hers is pretty good still. Um, you yeah. have a oh only a forty. Oh, yeah, her mental's not great. <laughs> okay. Well, Leaf Burner is pissed. <laughs> um, Next. Ax borrowed if he could uh, douse me with a and just give me the resistance that I douse myself. Yeah, but. I was going to say, like, <laughs> put res on leaf burner. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, so because you're so angry, um, leaf burner's not going to be able to do anything too clever in the sort of first round here when we no, start things. I'm... So we'll, we'll just send in leaf burner with the zombies. Exactly. Yes, but leaf... we, we just have an extra flaming body going forward. <laughs> <laughs> but leaf burner, um, you know. If you are going to be able to do something uh, a little spectacular with your fire. You can figure out what that is, but yeah, you have a little bit more power, but nothing like super like smart. You know, okay. Um, before we start, is the giant lizard the leader? Mm -hmm. Uh, like, yeah, it would appear so. In fact, I okay, really well, how much how much bigger here. is the big lizard? Like, oh. <laughs> are we talking about like he's a fucking Goliath? Like... Well, I've I've written here. One of the sons of Zrex towers over the rest. His sunken rib cage and hollow face serve only to accent the feeling of an ease you feel when looking at him. The hole to where his heart should be lays barren, and he barks at you in an unknown tongue before looking towards you. Uh, obviously, he hasn't spotted you, but that's a little passage I did right for him. He is holding a rather large, curved, serrated blade, and I would say he's. <laughs> I'm gonna. Have I'm you gonna... seen those warriors from Hammerfell? They have curved swords. <laughs> curved swords. <laughs> I'm gonna put him nine foot. The average lizardman being about six. So yes. he is quite tall, yeah, but very gaunt. So. How big is this hole in his chest? Um. I'd say if you cr make a fist and then you wrap your other hand around it, that big. So we could maybe light something on fire and stick it in there. Yeah, that's yeah. My fist. I was thinking 
send in the will... zombies and... Oh shit, are we gonna coat Leaf will... Blower's fist in resin, let it on fire? Yes, yes, I was about to my fist into his chest, Cavity. Well, my character is a semi-sneaky person. If you can get him on his knees, I could slit his throat. Yep, you do a backstab right. damage, yeah. Or you actually, I mean, anyone that doesn't isn't aware of you that you attack. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Could I have some backstab damage <laughs> swinging a fucking two hand? <laughs> well, no. Well, uh, to be, uh, well, this could possibly work because um, it was basically like tw twenty burning zombies and a ravaged person <laughs> attacking. Okay. So I'm just saying, know. when you light the zombies on fire, everyone's gonna notice. The whole fucking yeah. forest is gonna be illuminated. <laughs> Well, where where is their campfire at? Like relative to the camp. Uh, okay. Yep. They have. Where is my draw shape? So we have a little brazier. Right here and here. Yeah. Okay, so we've so. got we've got braziers and we've got you said lizard men. So one, two, three. You said two by the thing yeah. alongside the big fucker. That's right. One, yeah. two. And then the big fucker. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so we could... Uh, what? What's the the big thing? This. Is that a tree? Like a, it looks like a tree. It's a copse of trees? Yeah, it's a beautiful large tree that I drew. Thank you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. No. I, was, I was thinking of... Um, Obviously, it took me like five seconds to make. <laughs> but I thought the tree looked nice. <laughs> Okay. I, was think, I was thinking we send the zombies first, you know, covered in. And then, yeah, like the uh, cavalry. <laughs> uh, and, and then I'll charge in just and, active, and just activate them, and they're all on fire, thus uh, creating more chaos for That's the. That's the thing, you cannot create fire. Well, you can bend, it be because, bend it because it'd be right here. Well, I have a at. suggestion for that, though. Since we're, since we're down here ish. Yes. I say that we send the zombies up here, like that way, and just have them fucking run into the brazier. Oh, okay. We, we send origami that way to distract the big fucker. And me so and Rudy, I, go touch these guys' butts. Alright. Is that how we're doing it? That's my suggestion. They may have got a better one. Uh, well, I was going to say send the zombies. I hate this. So, yeah, send zombies just straight ahead, and then I will run and activate the, uh, and just use the, the fires right here, and just set them ablaze, making the yeah. Chaos. But if if we had the zombies all go from the top though, they would look that way, giving me and Rudy time to get behind them yeah. and touch the three other dudes' butts. Are you coming with me on these three? Right, yes, I'm gonna fucking cleave a bastard. If it's the last thing I do. <laughs> so we're going after these three. Yes. I can do that. I... Cool. What I really want to do is take out the leader. Hopefully they'll cower in fear. Because you just took out their leader. The leader sounds like he's a fucking lich, though. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What? He's literally missing his heart and he's still alive. That sounds lich as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but you're assuming his heart is going to be in the normal spot. As a normal human would. Uh, he's a humanoid, and he has a large hole in his chest cavity, which isn't infected and other stuff. Okay, I will say the lizardmen, the beastmen, humans do share a very similar anatomy. Just so we can be fair. With okay, the but now. similar, not exact, though. So their heart <laughs> could be on the other side of the chest still. Hmm. Um, All right. Maybe. Is, it, is the hole through the center of the chest cavity? Uh, no, it's where his heart should be. That's okay, what I wrote down. From. Yeah. Is there a is there a box in the camp? Just, just a box. Yes, yeah, like like a treasure chest slash <laughs> kind of storage vessel. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll say there's there's a, a box. How big of a box? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make every detail about this box. <laughs> uh, it's right. just, it's just like a a little crate, no top, and there's like two like uh, burlap sacks in it, essentially. 
I got your dad. Can't get my stuff to uh, borrow or release, so I won't burn it in the process. You're gonna strip? No, I will keep my clothing because that that I could just I mean, that's the gonna be consumed by the fire. Me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just my non consumable items that I could just give to like the his backpack, his water skin. Yeah, water. okay. Mm -hmm. your, your fire will burn. Well, I think your, your fire will. Oh wait, burn. origami doesn't have the weapon. No, no he no. just says kung fu. My fist is my weapon. <laughs> he has fire arms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Keanu Reeves. Oh God. I know kung fu. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch right. Matrix again. So, we're we're all gonna agree with this plan then. Sounds good yeah. to me. Yeah, but I'm, I'm charging. He yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, as soon as the zombies run over and smack the reserve light themselves on fire. Yeah. Yes. Well, the okay. zombies go in first. So zombies, zombies come in this way. There is a crash as they smack and knock over the brazier, and they are just ablaze. And ah. literally, just all the lizard men just turn and are like, "What the fuck?" In their native language, like they're just—they don't even know how to react to it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that two of the guys on this side, uh, on the left, two of those guys have the these staves that uh, were spoken of earlier, and they aim so them at wait. the zombies, and they're like, what? Yeah, so, so these guys are, are like, we're going to fire our... Oh, what? Yeah, no, the the left ones. The two damn the, thing's defective. Two of the ones that you're headed for, Borrowed. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so they aim at the zombies, and they're... And they fire off, and it just... It slaps into them and sort of just, like, rolls around the zombies, if you will, just only adding to the inferno. And they they just like look back and forth at each other like what the fuck, and everyone starts grabbing their swords except those two guys who only have the staves. Okay, so if it's these two that have the staves, mm -hmm. then we need to kill this guy first because he clearly has a, a sword or something. Yes, I'm gonna say that uh, these two here, uh, mm -hmm. we're just gonna go ahead and just say right now I don't need the roll for it. The zombies are going to overwhelm those two. Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're gonna be fucking food. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're gonna lose a few zombies, but for the most part, like yeah, those two are gonna be overwhelmed. Um, mm -hmm. Origami is jumping in to fight the boss, yeah, and we uh, have Rudy and Borrowed uh, heading in for the left. Uh, yeah, so left. Rudy needs to left slit there. the bottom left guy's throat. Okay, oh. so the only guy with a sword. Yes, yeah, so Rudy needs to kill him because I can go touch the other two guys' butts because they can't light me on fire. Okay. So, I mean, they can uh, light me on fire, but it doesn't do nothing. So the lizard men use bastard wait, wait. swords. Lots of, lots of, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, when I'm running in, can I run in at the same time? One, the uh, lizards are using their magical staffs, and I can use that fire to emblaze me. Yeah, you can like pull it over to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So you're like redirecting the staff fire into yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so the lizard men, though, they they're using bastard swords, but they use them one handed. Um, this is something, like, as your character gets stronger, some characters, like, the disease can always use them one-handed. Um, Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, the diseased are big dudes. Yeah, they're, they're beefo. So, um, I'm just saying, though, like, a bastard sword is going to be on the ground. It does a little bit more damage than Rudy's current weapon if he wants to trade it mid-combat. I'm just letting him know. Uh, Rudy once can't currently, yeah, he can't currently dual wield. Bastard swords, but that's okay. So, Rudy, you don't need to roll for this, uh, but you can just to see if you crit. Uh, so, give me a d100. Uh, okay, yeah, no crit there. That's fine. And go ahead and roll damage for me. So, it's d10 plus uh, d6. So a D10 and then a six. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, D10 oh, and D10 then a D6. a D6. Yeah. God, I should do it this way. I thought you literally meant like D10 plus six. No, no, that's fucking insane. So that's still eight damage. Um, but the thing is, like, that came to the back of this guy and just like slashed yeah, him. He, he like rammed his fucking dagger in the back of the guy's neck. Yeah, long like. Sword, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. long sword through the neck. Big so, difference. This guy... Your pointy bit of metal. He's not dead, but, like, he's on the ground writhing. 
essentially. So <laughs> there's there's not a whole lot you can do to recover from that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say borrowed roll me a d100. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Hey, cool. So this is just initiative. So one of the staff guys goes, then you, then one of them, and then Origami and the boss will be resolved in like a separate encounter. Mm. Okay, well. Um, can, I, can I increase my chance to hit by saying I want to try and cleave through both of them because it's a bastard sword? Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and say that you can roll to hit twice and see if you hit either of them. And if you make both of them, well, fucking hell. Do it. Okay. You better make it. So this guy's going to go no. ahead and take a shot at you real quick. Oh, fuck. With his laser staff that doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it does... Pff, hits you, deals three... Just kidding, it does no damage. Completely none. <laughs> yes, <it's sort> of... <laughs> exactly. Just, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah, exactly, right? Pythor! <laughs> 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 the tribe of overpowered fuck nuts. <laughs> okay. So, um... Yes, it's now your turn, Boron. Go ahead and give me two attack rolls there. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, a 70. You missed both of them. <laughs> Man. Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to have fucking any sort of weapon. Like, at all. I'm just not allowed to attack. Yeah. But hey, you know what? Now they're both facing towards me and not towards Rudy. That's true, yeah. So, <laughs> hit me with your best I... shot, you laser-wielding cunts. So, would you guys like to resolve the um, the boredom Rudy fight first, and then do Origami and the boss? I think it's just a little bit easier to do it that way. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So, Rudy, go ahead, and you can go ahead and get a sneak attack in. Yeah, because I, I apparently ran past both of them. Yeah. <laughs> you just fucking just... juggernaut <gasps> Shit. <laughs> yeah. You were more like shoulder-checking them, really. Yeah. So, Solar checking with a sword. Yeah. So, Bard, so, you're, like, you're uh, saying your first level up is going to be spent increasing your chance to hit with melee weapons? 99.7% uh, <laughs> chance. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Rudy, you said... So, do I have to roll for the chance to hit again, or...? Uh, you do this time, yeah. Because they're officially in combat now. Well, that's a hit. Well, I hit. Okay, so you get to roll your d10 and your d6. Yep. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 40 out of 10. <laughs> yes. That's a 4. Right. Oh, okay. So I did a 5. Yeah. Um, so are, are the staff fuckers we weaker than the sword fuckers? Um, they're, no, they're about the same. So, yeah, this guy's... You, you hurt him, but he's he's not dead. However, he's now noticed you. Okay. He's so, also noticed the hole in the back of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hurt. So he takes a shot, he misses Rudy, it just it goes off. And it's uh oh yeah, now the other guy who's engaged with borrowed. Yeah, again does nothing. Uh he actually <laughs> he wisened up, believe it or not. He just fuck. takes a staff, he fucking two hands it and smashes you over the head. <laughs> what the fuck is it with these guys and their rolls? This is horse cock. Okay. Well you take one damage because you have armor. Yeah, but like, has an enemy firing at me rolled any less than fucking 20? Do we like, need to... Do we, do we need to mention, like, you haven't fucking died yet, so you're doing okay? <laughs> yes, but damage. all of the enemies trying to hit me. Like, the fucking zombie... That's true, yeah. Oh, he a... crit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's, like, crit level, basically. A 7 is not a crit for this guy, but yes. Yeah, but they're all the exact opposite of me. Like, Yeah, it's pretty salt. rough. Okay, so Rudy... Uh, go for it, my man. Oh no, it's no, Borrowed's no, no, no. turn. It's Borrowed's turn. Borrowed. Yeah, it's Borrowed's. Yeah. There Borrowed. we go. Big whammy. That's... 1d12. Am I going to try and cleave back through both of them? Yeah, you can go for it, sure. They're still like next to each other. Okay, well, I guess I missed the one that Rudy stabbed. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Or I hit the one that Rudy stabbed because he stumbled. I, I hit somebody. Yeah. No, I'll hit the one closest to you. Okay. Well, if I hit the one that you hit, he's probably dead. He's not, sorry. Okay, well fine, I hit the other one. So, I, yeah, you've wounded him. I okay. hit somebody with a sword. <laughs> Alright, Rudy, your go. So, 100? Mm-hmm. Alright, All right, that's a hit. And you just get your D10. D10. Yeah. Okay. This guy, this guy is stumbled over. He's not quite dead. He's taking a shot at you. That's a bit of a hit. 
Okay. So you, I'm you, on fucking fire. You get fucking lasered for like four damage. Wow, triggered yeah. because that's exactly what happened in goddamn Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never I'm recovered tired. from that one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this laser like sears your, like, you know, your leather and stuff it, like it that. Burns your arm. through the side of your chest and blows out one of your kids. No, <laughs> no, we avoided that one. <laughs> <laughs> Too yeah, soon. Oh, it right, right. Me, soon. me and Origami came up with a uh, executive decision on that. Since it went through the side of Rudy, right right there, like, you know, side of his stomach, right below the uh, uh, yeah. rib cage, we looked up human anatomy, and aside <laughs> from missing a kidney, Rudy also got a free appendectomy. Oh, well, that's congratulations. <laughs> yeah, no more appendix. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. nice, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, this guy's going to attack board. He's going to try and smash you again. Oh, uh -oh. bro, that's fucking angry, Fucking swore to God, these fucking cheating blizzards. <laughs> 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 okay, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it just like poof, off your armor. Your armor's too tough to take the hit. Good, go for it, bard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, borrowed in the combat, swung so hard he got his bastard sword stuck in the tree nearby. <laughs> She's just fucking How windowing. How did I swing into that tree? That tree is fucking seven yards you were away. You were doing a, like a whirlwind attack. You were just like swinging in the tree. Okay, well, what, what, about, what about the other guy? No! <laughs> so, okay, no, my, my sword is, I guess, fucking like sword in the stone. Now. Yeah, it's... Never getting it back. Not until we burn the tree down, no. Okay, that's incredible. All right, well. All right, yeah, home. Me. Ru Rudy, you get a chance to kill your guy. I still gotta kill my guy unless he's down on the ground. No, he, he's pretty much though. He's he's bleeding heavily. You can tell like one more hit, you got him. Like if I don't attack him, will we get back up? Uh, yeah, yeah. He'll like hit he's you because he's, he's facing you, not me. Yeah, he's still gonna hit you. Well, I just finish him off real quick. Oh fuck yeah, you do. All right, you can roll damage if you want. You don't have to. Okay, so he's dead. Yeah. So, we now just have the one guy who's watched well, Borrowed plant I... his sword. In. <laughs> well, now I'm all the way over by the tree, though, so he's going to have to try and laser me, though. Or try and run all the way over Holy there to hit Holy shit. Me. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's not good. Good! Fuck you, you lizard cunt! Alright, well, um... He tries to laser... I mean... Basically, he's like, fuck that guy then. Tries to laser Rudy, and it just fucking explodes. <laughs> As a um, handoff? Yeah. Borrowed is somewhat on fire. The tree is on fire. The lizard is on fire, shrieking and missing his arms. <laughs> and uh, Rudy's like, huh? <laughs> well, me being on fire is just like... A, yeah, you don't a give a fuck, exactly. Yeah. Like... So, Rudy, you want to go hit this guy with a slash? Um, he can't... Where he's on fire, don't hug him. <laughs> That's true, can yeah. I, can I put the long sword away and grab the bastard sword the other guy dropped? Yep, for sure. Uh, you don't need <laughs> the roll to hit this guy because he's distracted and you get your damage bonus because he's distracted. So you get so, the roll a d12 and a d6. A d12? Okay. Yeah, the bastard That's sword is... Evil. Yeah. Is it two-hander, though, for you? So you know what? Can, can we say that I killed that fucking tree, though? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well... Like, I hit that thing with the force of a sick? fucking wrecking <laughs> Yeah, we'll say, we'll say that tree is enough for you to pull your sword out. So Especially now that it's smoldering. A d6. Yeah, okay, so that's a dead. Nice. <laughs> so, I got yeah. two kills. <laughs> Chop his head off. And... Hey, you know what? I got a half a kill. I killed the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> let's... Let's paint the scene. Right now, we have a a large, brutish man with a two-handed sword stuck in a tree. He's trying to pull it out, and he's on fire, and the tree's on fire. There's a bunch of dismembered and dead lizards all around. There's a, a man the who's... The two guys right next to him just got fucking eaten by flaming zombies. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a huge horde of flaming zombies just running around the area, screaming with their hands flailing in the air. And, um... Then we have Origami, whose hands are now on fire. Kung Fu jumping in at this fucking raid boss. 
Uh, I was going to say that um, that when the lizard used the fireball, and as I was running to the boss, I'm like punching it with the fireball uh, on my hands, just right into the chest. Oh, so you're like redirecting the beam of the weapon, and you're punching with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you that. So you do have to roll to hit with your unarmed. All right. Which I think is a 60 for you. Yep, yeah, so that hits. So you deal D8 damage, and another D8 for the laser blast. Ooh. That's a pretty good hit. Um, the boss wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I'll tell you that His much. His back would probably be turned <laughs> watching the zombies devour his colleagues. Yeah, so there's now two giant cavities in this guy. Just, <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, wouldn't he also be on fire, the laser? Um, yeah, there'd be a little bit of fire. Not, like, insane his, amounts. His clothing is on fire. His clothing on, is on fire. On and he fire. takes his, his giant serrated sword, and he's gonna gonna swang it at you a little... Oh, jeez, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts his leg off. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone rolls bad, but when they do, <laughs> it's See, the raid boss. This is vengeance for those fucking lizard laser assholes yeah. fucking with me. Uh, vengeance. So basically, he swings down at Origami, and, and like, Leaf Burner seriously just, like, fucking, like, Kung Fu parries that shit. Smacks his wrist. You hear a crack as his wrist breaks, and the sword goes flying off into the distance. Dibs. <laughs> no, that's mine. Your turn, Leaf Burner. He said it's a giant two-handed sword. It's mine. I can use any weapon, though. But I only use two-handed swords. I don't care. Well, Take you can use you can use whatever you want. To be honest, well, bro. you can argue it later. It's when right the boss is like. <laughs> yeah, Leaf Burner, you gonna you gonna punch this guy again? A punch in his damn freaking face. Okay, I, th I thought you were going to say dick. First off, he's nine <laughs> feet, so you, you're going to have to, like, either jump up or, like, jump Sorry, off him oh or God. something, yeah. Just, uh, um, you, you, like, backwards uh, crane kick it? Like, you're going to do, like, a somersault? Like... Backflip kick to his groin. No, upper so punch. Fucking chin. Yeah, upper punch. Upper. Oh, my God, you're just going to uppercut this nine-foot fucking demon. Go for it. Yes. Please. Please roll critical fail. I need this. Okay. <laughs> All right, D8 for me. Oh my fuck! <laughs> You're welcome for your fists being on fire. <laughs> well, the unfortunate thing for Leaf Burner is while she does pull off an immaculate jump and does reach the nine feet required, um, her fist doesn't stop at his chin. It just keeps going. Up and up through his skull. <laughs> so, so, so you're now wearing this guy's head on your arm. <laughs> um, we'll say he's he's probably a bit heavy. So you've now tumbled over, and the body's on top of you, albeit your fucking arm is through his head. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine the leaf burn? Are you okay? Help. <laughs> you okay? No! <laughs> Crush my giant fucking scaly asshole. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, well, the, the, the battle has ended, and the zombies come over, all still completely on fire, <laughs> and all do it. Though they're unfazed by the fire. Exactly. They do a quick sort of Pythar salute. And they, you know, they thank you for your services. And they say, is there, well, can, yeah, you can still understand them, so they ask. Is there anything we can do to you before we return? Uh, hey, do you want to come with us to Brill? This is our army of flaming zombies. We've come to negotiate for the hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that going over well. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that. Have they, have they I have three. Them? I have two kills. You have three. No, you three. You killed. Yeah, all three of them. Oh, I did, huh? Yeah. Because I couldn't fucking hit the broadside of a barn <clears throat> from the inside. There. So what are we? 
uh, have they uh, uh, seen the beast man? Oh no, they haven't. They haven't seen the beast man. Mm-hmm. They were on the south side of the forest. On the Can outside, I grab one of the staffs and keep it with me. Yeah, and if you want the not exploded works. one, I assume. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna come in handy. <laughs> For shooting borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, light me on fire, bro. I got this. Oh yeah. Well, because I could ask <clears throat> the uh my people if they know how to use it. Yeah, and if you do ever figure out how to use it, you can always fire it and have origami guide the shot. Yeah. Just curve it around corners and shit. <laughs> All right. So, what is our any any requests of these? Restless dead. Do you want to take him with us? Origami and borrowed? Not really. Like, their no. job is done, but we yep. could, like, we could ask if they know of anything else in the forest <clears throat> since they were here. Like, any other, you know, caches of equipment or people or whatever. Fair. Hmm. Let's do that. Okay. Well, they say, uh, there's. A little bit to the south. We'll lead you there before we head off. There's a a safe haven for traders. We hide some food in the trees and rest there for the night. And so he takes you over, and there's actually like a little, almost like um, like hidden hammocks, if you will, uh, in the trees, like up in the branches. And there's yeah, there's like some food that's. Kind of fresh, but it's stuff that's, like, preserved. Do you know what I mean? Uh, salted. Yeah, so you can, like, eat that stuff and, like, rest up for the night. All right, uh, while we're doing this, I need to let a fucking cat inside real quick. Oh, God, the cat. I have to use the restroom. Always too. fucking cats. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I was about to say that I was going to keep the, the boss sword. Oh, yeah, okay, you have the boss sword? Yeah, sure. as a trophy. Yeah, I just put boss sword. Sure. So, yeah, not too much more. We just gotta go to the Brill and resolve that encounter and then call it a, an eve for the session. And hello, Zelfus. What level is Zelfus? Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, is he here? Hello. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? He just got in. Oh, were you at the airport again, or...? Nope. Sick as a dog. Hey, welcome to my life. The fucking the doctor said I might have strep throat. Ever so. a fun thing? Yeah. Apparently that's very contagious. Um, and one of my coworkers Probably texted me today, work. and she couldn't... Co- there's, like, nobody to cover for anybody at my work. It's really hard to get time off, and I fucking feel bad for asking anybody to do it, because the people that work full-time work full-time. But yeah, so she texted me and was like, hey, you asked me to cover your shift the other day because you were sick. Um, do you need me to take tomorrow? And I'm like, well, technically, I'm not really supposed to go out like this. So yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I don't know. It sucks like losing the money, obviously, for a shift. But like, like what are you going to do? Are you going to fucking give everyone that comes in the restaurant strep throat? And it, it leaves some pretty bad reviews, I must say. Yeah, it it's tough. It's it's always hard when you work in like the health and like the health and food industry, and you're also like low income, because it's like I it's like harder to make those calls. Like for me, it's it's not too bad. We're we're doing well, all things considered. But fuck, it's rough. Either way, just waiting on the uh, the two boys to get back, and we're gonna finish our session off. And then if you want to get no, some not. video games in, no, no, oh. Well, I'm waiting on Rudy. Oh. Taking a pee. Sue. Sue? What's the plan? My room. We're all, like, resting up for the night? Probably. Yeah, yeah we, need to, we need to put the zombies out. That's true. Well, they're all just sort of dis- disappearing. Just like, like fading, fading away into the ether, or like... Well, crumbling in the dust, more so. Okay, well, dust isn't very flat, so that's fine. Yeah, we're alright. Um, anyone that was injured gets to heal 
uh, 1d4 health for resting. <sighs> Boro's like, Sail that's a one! Roll. No, hey, that's not bad. Got a back and full. Fine. <laughs> Bitching about health. <laughs> Has armor. <laughs> Zero damage <laughs> from anything. <laughs> I'm full health. <laughs> I want damn heavy armor is what I want. Good old yeah. tanks. I'm playing by health. <laughs> hey, you know what? This team doesn't have a healer. I can bitch all I want. Oh yeah, there's no healers in this game. <laughs> can, I, can I just eat fire to heal? Um, interestingly, <laughs> no. But um, the things that there, there's a stuff called ghost oil, which people generally use as uh, like an oil for lanterns and things like that. So Essex flask. Kind of, I guess. But anyway, they you can like pour it on a like a cloth or something and use it to heal someone once a day, sort of after a wound is taken, like a like a bandage. Um, and there's an ability that some people can get. Um, your character is going to be able to get it borrowed because you have very high endurance, which allows you to just fucking take a vial of it and just chug it straight down. And just fucking pray to God, <laughs> and and have like a yeah, so bigger heal effect. Disease for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. So how much do I heal? Is like to like two that two damage. Yep, you roll one d four. See how much you get. Oh. Hey. Oh, I don't think Rudy got hit, did he? Uh, no, he got grazed. Yeah, oh, yeah that's fire. right. He's right. being a sneaky fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Got hit for two, I think, or something. Two or three, not much. <clears throat> yeah. And yes, I am taking the boss sword because that's my trophy. <laughs> but I want to kill people with it. <clears throat> no, my trophy. You can have the, the lizard skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take that off your arm or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yes. Mm, wait, wait, how big is the head? I mean, it's pretty head. big, right? But not like huge. Like, it's bigger than a human head, but. Can I, uh,. Uh, what do you call? I mean, there's a, there's a huge hole through the top of the skull. Can I? Uh, well, I was going to say, can I uh, use it as a helmet, like after ten pit? Uh, what is it? What do you call when you uh, blacksmiths when they work the sword? They temp it. Temper. Temper. Yeah. But you yeah. can't temper it though. It's it's bone. It's yeah. Yeah, but can I like harden it with a fire? No, you would. Uh, if anything, that would make the fucking skull more brittle and fall apart. I mean, you, you could put it on your head, though, if you want, sure. All right, but so I mean, like, you, you'd you literally have to, like, take all the flesh off if you're cool with that. Of course. Alright, give me a butchery roll. Oh, I forgot my app. That does a butchery roll. Uh, butchery 10. Jesus, hopefully I make it. <laughs> and Boro's got a 20, so... He could try. No. No. All right. Well, yeah, you, you managed to fuck it up. <laughs> I tried to burn uh, it. Question. Off. What was the? You said the boss was wearing something before he was a little blaze. Yeah, just like rags and stuff. Not like, but like his complete chest was bare. It was just like a loincloth-y type deal. Oh, right. Uh, I'm naked. I forgot. Well, we're still writing on Rudy. Yes, that's right. That yeah. Was in that box. Yes. Leaf Burner is completely naked, for the record. Um, <laughs> which is probably fine around a bunch of young boys. <laughs> I'll punch whatever sees at me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you're che yeah, you're checking the the bags in the box now. There's no heart in there, no. But what is there? Like anything in there? Is it just like you know? Here's some food. Yeah, it actually looks more like tools. And things like that. Like, they, they just, like, scavenge tools off people. Like, odd weapons and things like that. Probably from, like, the caravans and whatnot. Oh, many clothing. <laughs> uh, what, what about all the blood? Yeah, you could probably get some clothing. Origami. Uh, what about, oh, like, in the, the recessed pool of blood with the unknown metal? The recessed pool of blood with the unknown metal plus uh, the drums that were being beat by none of these lizards? Uh, yeah, the, the drums were sort of a, an effect of this guy's chanting, like you were just hearing drums. Ah, uh, okay. 
Mm -hmm. But, yeah, what, the blood pool in the middle? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, are you going to stick a hand in there? What's a... Uh, <laughs> I could stick, like, a tree branch in there or something, try and poke it. Like... I was going to say, take these zombie hands. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The zombies are gone, dude. <laughs> well, what about his arm, though? Did that fade away with him? Yeah, unfortunately. Damn. Oh, okay, yeah, let's pull a branch off the tree I fucking murdered. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you, you poke the branch in, and you hear... Like, first off, it feels thicker than blood. Second off, it sort of almost sizzles as you're pushing it in. Oh, well, I miss state frying. <laughs> uh, you walked into me trying to find out what the hell was in the pool of blood at the camp. Oh, okay. You gonna stick like a hand in there? Uh, can I, like, is the metal moving? <laughs> what if I try and poke it? Uh, no. Can I, like, is, how deep is this pit? <laughs> you can't say because it's put into the ground. Um, but it's about three feet in diameter. Hmm. So the the metal is immovable in the pit. Yes, seems to be. Ooh, I was thinking I can have one of the staffs, so I could just just summon fire whenever need be. Hmm. So blood is sizzling with the stick in it? Like, is it actually like, boiling off or is it just, like, bubbling? It's, yeah, it's bubbling. I'm making, like, it's... Hmm. hmm. I don't really want to stick a hand in there because I don't know what the hell that, like, blood is going to do because the blood is apparently, like, enchanted. Hard to say. Hard to say. How many of the lasers people to hand in there? True. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, can I just like yeah, drag a body over and just kinda like lay a hand in it, see what happens? Sure. Um as you lay the hand in it it fucking uh like someone took a juice box to it, it just You know what I mean? Like a straw, oh. sorry. Good thing I didn't fucking stick my hand in there, eh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. How many fire uh, fire staffs are there? Just the one, the one oh, that exploded. Yeah. yeah. If you want to barter for it, go ahead. Mm, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so do we just head off the brill then after a good night's sleep, and we can come back to the blood pit some other time, maybe? Figure mm. it out. Mm. Are we cutting any of the flayed bodies down? Well, we could take some of the lizard men with us. Like, you know, lizard men meat, because, well, it's a whole lot of meat. Fair, yeah. <laughs> Are you carving it for, like, eating purposes, or...? Yeah, eating purposes. Alright, give me some butchery rolls. Oh. I'm not going to know that. Oh, I have a 10. Yeah, Boro's got a 20. Well, I mean, aside from that, we could just, like, you know, basically take everything between rib cage to pelvis. Like, just all of that's pretty much edible meat. Oh, yeah, yeah like, you're not... Okay, that. okay, you're not, like... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not meat. trying to, like, cut it up real fine, because, I mean, furthermore, they're lizards. They're low in fat. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you're just taking hunks of them. Yeah. Sure, yep. Yeah. Okay, you can just, take, like, yeah. chunks of meat, yeah. Like, does the meat look vaguely edible? Yeah, yeah, cook it. Yeah. Right, good. We're gonna get sick off of this. Well, I'm You're not... gonna get sick. I'm fucking diseased. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes fine. Needs some salt. It, it's literally poison. Eh. Eh, 95 physical resist. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So off to Brill we go? Yep. yep. Okay. So as you guys are coming up to Brill... Um, you see it's actually, it's got like a wooden palisade, um, towards the city, which is something humans don't even think of at the time, is like walls. Um, the gate is nothing fancy, um, it's just a simple, like not even like a 
drawbridge. Like, the drawbridge doesn't really raise. It's just there is a bridge leading in. There's a small, like, moat and um, a large dock heading off. Really is uh, essentially what Trader's Crossing should be. It is a large port town with um, lots of hustle and bustle. And, and as you approach it, immediately, because you have to imagine, we look like savages to these guys. Um, there are two beastmen standing guard, and they're just looking at you. You know what I mean? Just like, mm-hmm, <laughs> as, you, mm -hmm. as you guys approach. Are we going to Brill? I thought we were going to Traders Crossing. Uh, no, Brill's where the, um, the beastmen were headed. Okay. So they're heading to the, the temple near it, actually. We don't even have to go in the Brill. Uh, the temple is off to the side of it, sort of like, uh, like here. No, I, I figured you were going to say like it was going to be like on this little spit of land. Yeah, uh, basically, yeah, it's pretty much there. So are you guys just going to head straight to the temple, or? Um, eh, maybe. Can I, well, how far would it, hang on. So if we're here-ish, damn, that's the better part of a day's travel. Yeah, it's pretty much a day's travel, yeah. Well, hmm. Actually, no, if we're like right next to Brill, that's, that's a half day's travel. I could leave them two to go to the temple and I could take my bag o well half bag o resin and the lizard men shit to go trade at Trader's Crossing. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Because I've got like seventy pounds of meat to trade. <laughs> so uh where'd you get this from? Places. Yeah. <laughs> the first you roll. You're gonna need some marinade. <laughs> well, it's up to you boys. What's your plan? You guys feel comfortable going to the, the, whatever by yourselves? Oh, I'm a trader person. I want to trade. Mm. Go temple. Cause I got nothing. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna like try and barter. I'm just gonna be like, money. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I imagine the the beastmen would be a little more interested in miscellaneous meat, and they have money. Exactly. Yeah, they can give you money, which is useless in human land, but, you mm. know, for the rest of the campaign, perhaps good. Yeah, like I said, I only have a, a boss sword to trade in there. I'm not trading that in. Okay. So we have um, Arjan and Leaf Burner going to the temple? Yep. Okay. Well, um... Wait, are we all going to the temple? or? No, no, Ecto is I'm... heading off to Trader's Crossing. Yep. Because I have to get there before the meat spoils. Yeah, fair. All right, so you head off. Um, the other two, however, are going to be laying in wait, and they see the group of beastmen arriving, the ones that came from Spikeberry Fields. And they have a little girl. Um, not, She doesn't look like she's bound, but she is sat on the back of one of their horses as they ride up. He cut off again. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Um, the little girl doesn't look bound in any way. She's just sitting on the back of one of the horses, riding with them as they come up to the temple. Off a place, just we'll deal with the sniffle. Stop cutting out! You're driving me mad. Oh, did I cut out again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Because I, I didn't bound. She's just sat on one of the. I I didn't hit the button that time. Sorry. Um, but she's she's just sat on one of the horses behind the beastmen, like riding with them. Hmm. Hmm. So a guest, less of a captive. Yes, that's the way it looks. Um, who has a, other than who has the persuasion role? Just talk to them. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go with you guys. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, so roll for persuasion. <laughs> does either of you have persuasion? I only have ten, like the base. Uh, yeah, oh. you both only have ten in it. Yeah. Not very well. Intimidate what maybe. Is... Bard could have intimidated them. Well, He's got like I a thousand that... intimidate. Ooh, I got twenty-five <laughs> intimidate. I could uh, just show them my 
big boss for. <laughs> okay. Now you don't have to roll something if you can give a very so, I got a question clever. Right. Yeah. Wouldn't a wanderer have more than ten persuasion? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I like I didn't give you any points in it, but you could have put points in it at character creation. You know I mean? well, if you think about it, if they have to wander, travel around, they would have to try to get a job for food. That kind of be part of some persuasion, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you got some intimidate as well, and you know, it's like yeah. like a, a cell sword is very few and far between, so it's fairly useful. Like you don't know I mean? mm. So it's not hard to get a job as one person just going like, oh, can I like you know look after your caravan or you know help with some grain or some shit like that. Mm, can I just walk up to them and just uh, try to try to get their attention, uh, not threaten me, just just to talk? Okay, or... sure. Well, I mean, they have you have their attention as your human outside Brill by their fucking temple, <laughs> which I mean, no human has any. Um, it's it's not like you guys are banned per se from coming to a temple of Gorok. It's just you don't, and you've never. And why are you here? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they are slowly approaching you, yeah. And they they come to a stop, and they're sort of looking at you intently. Mm. The fuck, bro? Yeah. Can I ask them what their intent would be uh, later? Um, the lead one sort of he's looking at you, and he's like. I don't know why you're here, human, but she's with us. She's very important. Any reason that being? That's pedophilia. You have to give her back. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> no, uh, oh shit. One sec. I do actually have to blow my nose. I'm sorry, guys. What should I ask next, then? Well, I'm not really there, so I shouldn't really be giving any suggestions. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you, where are they? Where are they? What? What should, I, what should I say? Um... Why is she important? Yeah, that, but besides that, because that, that's the question I ask. Um... Yeah, sorry, you can sniff all you want, but, like, eventually it just, it starts to, like, drain, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bad news bears, yeah. Not um, sure what else to say, um... What were you... Oh, right, you guys were asking why she was important? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so... Um... <laughs> you guys don't sound very convincing about how important she is when you're coming at me. <laughs> No, I, I wrote something somewhere that sounded good, but no, I can't I seem just, to find it. I was just talking like, uh, not trying to intimidate or persuade, just regular Yeah, call. so, yeah, so this guy's like, um, you know, our, our people are far from unified, but we always follow the voice of our high priestess. And when she dies, she is transported to another body. A new child is born, if you will. So according to Gorakian legend, our, our high priestess will be reborn and, and will give us a sign as to where she is, and we'll find her. This is the first time she's ever been a human. <laughs> Did your high priestess die, like, seven years ago, though? Like... Um... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Slight problem, yeah. <laughs> No, like, like actually, yes. They've been searching for that long. Well, they need to fucking like figure out how to look at the places that are a two-day trip away. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So, you no, know, we've been searching for so long because we just all the signs pointed to Spikeberry Fields, and we just couldn't believe that a human could have the you know this could be our high priestess reborn. <laughs> It wasn't the human, it was the spike berries, because they're fucking annoying and annoying <laughs> like you guys. Uh, um, so, I, I would ask, why would you look for towards a human? That oh. she coming back. That's that's the thing, we've, we've spent seven years looking, 
and we, we can't ignore the evidence any longer. This child, Deldria, is our priestess reborn. Can I speak to the priestess? And as I'm uh, speaking to her, can I use my knowledge of uh, tribes of Vista? Or, or is it Pyra? Python? Uh, who are you talking about? So Gorok are the beastmen, Vesta is the humans. Uh, no, my tribe. Your tribe's Pythar, yeah. Yeah, can I, like, some kind of intuition? Because it's about life and birth, so can I see, sense if it's a reincarnation? Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Um, you could give me... You give me a weaving role for that. So weaving okay. sort of like the mystical skill of the game. Weaving is 44. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah, no dice there. So you can't you can't discern anything, yeah. Mm. Well, that's why I got so far. Oh, that said. Oh, here's something. Hmm. Ask him how they got the girl. Like, do they just walk? Like, make them explain how they got to her. Well, you're you're here too, really. Oh, that's fair. No, I'm asking. <clears throat> so he uh, he sort of lowers his head and he says, "We attempted to persuade her." guardians to give her up and they they weren't quite so willing so we had to take her by force unfortunately one of our younger members got a bit um, reckless and um, a, an exchange of words and blows happened and he ended up killing one of your um, townsmen we will offer him up to you as tribute do with him as you wish. Be it a slave, execution, if we may keep the girl. Uh, question, uh, officer. I speak very few of them, mostly farmland, right? Yep. Mm, you could probably take him as a uh, tribute. And beastmen are stronger than humans. You could use him as manual labor for the rest of his life. That's what I was going to say. And we could give him to whoever uh, the person he killed to the family, so he'd be basically uh, manually. Yeah, could do. <laughs> your daughter's dad here's a slave. He's the one that killed your husband. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Awkward. <laughs> so you're single, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you're single, huh? About you this uh, this giant man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. A little bit hairy, but a foot long. <laughs> No, God, no. <laughs> but a foot long <laughs> skull. What are you people thinking? Tail, tail. <laughs> oh boy. I, I I agree with that though. You think that's a fair trade? Mm-hmm. Unless anyone else have any opposition. Well, we're supposed to bring the girl back with us. Not a dead. <laughs> Did you say just tell them she's dead? Yeah, tell them the girl's dead. Tell them the fucking beastman ate her or something. Who cares? Yeah, but, and then it's gonna start a war. Exactly. And but we say that she's a tell goddess. Him, tell them the lizard men ate him. Everybody already hates the <laughs> lizard men. But, and we but, have proof that we killed lizard men. Th but that's you true. Butchered yeah. them, but you butchered them, though. <laughs> you butchered but them you for food. Bring back the lizard people. Oh, I want to sell the lizard people pelts. You can't bring those back to the village. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring the skeletons. <laughs> yes. Like, this is the skull of the guy that ate your daughter. So here you go. Like, you can have that and the beastmen that kidnapped her in the first place. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Well, Seems uh, good. No, that's what I'd do. My guy's an asshole, though, so do something more diplomatic. I don't care. I was going to say that your daughter's a goddess, or well, priestess, and she is, well, basically a, uh, controls a religion, so-called. How about this? How about them show us the evidence pointing to the girl being the high priestess? Ooh, all right. 
So, um, with that said, there's there's a murmur. But make it more of a wanting to learn their ways, kind of. Okay. Have... So there's so, like a murmur. A the proof, yeah, and they say very well, and they lead you into the temple, and inside the temple, it's um, it's star charts essentially. Uh, not that the humans really understand uh, star charts, but. Um, so how does this work? Well, you take it, you pick it up above your head, and you look. Hey, look, it matches up, you fucking idiot. Yeah, exactly. So they're trying to explain to you sort of how you tell where in the land something is going to be, like with the star chart. And then they say, you know, the, they show you the symbol of Gorok. And mm. they say that every child of, like, every one of these high priestesses is born with this symbol on them. And they show you on Deldria the symbols on her back. Sort of like just below her neck. That's a mole. That's <laughs> another mole. No, it's yeah, it's a fairly large uh, yeah. Almost like um a tattoo. Uh, like a birthmarky. Can I learn? Cause can, can, do I have the ability to learn? Do I have the ability to learn? <laughs> nope. <don't> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What well, I mean is that in the culture E C T that kind of stuff. Um, sure. It's gonna take a few years. Yeah. But, I mean, you oh. could... I thought I had, like, a special abilities that could do that. Um, maybe... Leafburn is actually pretty clever. She got a learning of 17, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and say... Yeah, nerd! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and uh, roll for me. Give me, like, an 85 here. Or less. Ooh, I learned, I learned most of it. Yeah, so you, you understand a lot. So you, Actually, we can go ahead and say now, like, if you encounter star charts in the future, you can read them, for the most part. Nice. Mm-hmm. So we say, are we, are we believing these guys, or are we murdering them, or... Well, maybe not start a fight. There's a lot more of them, and they're tougher than we are. We we taking the the prisoner? Well, to be fair, we are trade, trade people, so... We're not, uh, we don't know not, 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 not that cultural. We could always just tell the parents, sorry, she's dead. They just repeat them and make them fight with, uh, make the uh, other person fight for us. Or that, could, could we probably make like an agreement that the parents could visit her? Oh, okay. Like, the mom. Because <laughs> the dad's dead. I think we just decided that. Mm -hmm. right, is it the dad or is it the mom? I don't know. One of the parental figures are... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm fine with it being the dad's dead, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be more reasonable that the mother could visit anytime she wanted and uh, that the person who killed the father is tripped. Okay. Yeah, if that's what you guys, like, if you're fine with accepting that to the Beastmen, then you just got to go back to Spikeberry and tell them that. Mm -hmm. With the Beastmen in hand. Well, are, are you going to say well, that we can the just make daughter the is dead, or what, what's going on? No, um, Origami was saying, um, explain the situation and, you know, uh, ask the Beastmen if the mother can visit any time, like, type of deal. Like, you know what I mean? That's what he's hoping to... Uh, A diplomatic solution. An angle. Okay. I'm okay with that. Alright. Well. Uh, that's, that's your guys' choice. I'm off selling corn. That's right. So. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to go over the Trader's Crossing. Um, yeah, Borog... I'm, off, I'm off being super legit. Being <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super. Super Bor legit. Borrowed for, for all the, the meat and the resin and shit like that, you're going to get 25 pieces. Uh, what about the what about the hides? Because that's a whole lot of hide for fucking leather. Work. That's true. Uh, out the big fucker, like that's a ton of hide. We'll, we'll make it forty-five. Yeah. Forty-five pieces. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, so this is going to be sort of the end of the session. You guys are heading back to Spike Ferry. You talk. The mother is distraught, but the thing is, this is. At this point, Malda has returned, and Malda was the person who was supposed to be training you for these sort of peacekeeping uh, roles, and 
she's not the most pleased that you went and did it yourself, but she's not unhappy with the result. So she, using her status, says, all right, sits everyone down in the village. They talk about it. She convinces them that this was the best way to do it. So the village is happy with you guys. They're happy to have the, the beast man. He's going to be like a slave on the, the farms. Probably not going to be the best life for him. But he's okay with it. Because, you know... We, we didn't fucking kill him, so he can't bitch that much. Exactly. Um, and yeah, so this is where we're going to be leaving. And then we're going to be doing a bit of a time jump. And the next session will be taking place about five years into the future. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a bit more... Uh, borrowed, I will mark down that you have those 45 pieces because none of you are going to be acquiring currency, currency, currency. Man, I'm fucking tired or something. Uh, none of you are going to be acquiring currency uh, in the meantime because you're all just going to be traveling around the human lands. And um, yeah, that's that done. Yep. <laughs> Thoughts and all that shit. Any villagers that question uh, my authority, I show them my sword. See what oh. I got this? I got this from killing a boss! Fuck, dude. Increase my persuasion tenfold. 